Oh, you know when you said, I can't hear you, I heard you. And my mind went into, like, you said, I can't hear you. So I started talking to you and giving you advice on how to hear me. Um, I was thinking, <laughs> how, how can that work? <laughs> That doesn't, um... <laughs> no, that's the most stupid thing I've ever done on this podcast, I believe. That was <laughs> that was so ridiculous. How, how are you, Iris? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. I'm sweating. But, Why? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, it's really, I'm really good at making a fool of myself. So. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm doing very good, thanks, dude. I'm, I was a bit in a, in a bit of a rush earlier because um, me and Emily were having food, and we, had, we 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 trying to be really healthy, and had to make my uh, like we made food from scratch uh, about 20 minutes ago. And while I was, while I was eating, I was like, ah, oh, got the podcast to go. And it was one of those it's one of those days where you're you're doing certain things, but the time just flies by, and you, 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 you yeah. sort you, you sort of go. Oh God! Yeah, it's this. It's this time. I gotta do this. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like you watch the clock and then you turn around and then you turn around again and it's like twenty minutes later. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or, or when you uh, say you can have a, like a five minute nap and then you wake, <laughs> and you wake up fr- three hours later. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> a five minute nap doesn't happen. <laughs> no, I've tried. I've tried. I've done it where um, I've I've had a nap and. Like I, my intention is to have five more minutes. So let's say I wake up in the morning, and mm-hmm. I wake up I'm like, oh, just five more minutes, and I don't set my alarm afterwards. So then I just sleep for like two more hours, and yeah. I wake up at like ten <laughs> in the morning. I'm thinking, oh no, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna rest my eyes. <laughs> oh, it happens all the time. It's and I feel bad because it's like it's it's obviously that my body wants to sleep, <laughs> but. But I'm like, oh no! But humans need to wake up at this time and this time if I'm going to be normal. I feel, yeah. I feel bad. But oh, no. I'm, I'm kind of lucky because of what I do um, for a living. So it's, it's, I can get away with that kind of stuff. If I was working for someone, I'd probably be fired like five years ago. <laughs> oh boy, it's really a thing, right? It is pretty it's, good. It's pretty yeah. good to do that. Are, are you? Are you? working for yourself or are you uh, what, what's your um, situation with work and everything it's a bit complicated mm-hmm. uh it's a bit of a long story as well uh so... we, ha- we have time <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's great because i'm very good at rambling so here do we it, go um so uh my mother has her own company uh okay. She uh, works with people who are, um, let's say, not entirely um, equipped to uh, work in the, you know, the regular workforce. Sure, sure. And um, she helps them reintegrate into, you know, either school or work or just, uh, or just having something to do during the day. That's wonderful. Yeah, and uh, she is also really good at it. Um, and <laughs> yeah, but uh, she is. Uh, she has been doing this for, I think, close to ten years now. Wow. Yeah, and um, so of course I'm really proud of her. Oh. And, she, and yeah, and she has built, you know, this this company uh, up from the ground. Uh, started with um, like, uh, uh, you know, claying. Uh, yep. She she gave courses in them and. Um, then people started being more and more interested in like she did this in her like a shack in our garden wow. yeah and then uh slowly but surely uh we have like multiple locations now and all that jazz and uh, she um works for the government a lot and you know all that jazz so where i come in <laughs> yes it is and i'm really proud of her mm. And uh, really, someone to look up to in that regard. Um, that's, and, that's, uh, that's really nice, dude. That's, it's really nice <laughs> to know that because you can tell that you're like super impressed by your own mother, and that's 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 humbling. You know? Yeah, <laughs> she. But she is really impressed. She is a really impressive woman, mm. and she is really a role model uh, in that regard for nice. people or just girls. And you know, it's I'm, I'm just proud of her, uh-huh. but. <laughs> Where I come in is I, uh, I, I do taxi basically. So mm-hmm. uh, I, I pick up her clients from home and uh, I, I bring them back when they 
uh, are done. Oh, and, and I okay. also do a little bit of um, uh, what's it called administrative work for her. Yes, administration work. Yeah, administration. Thank you. Ad administration. Administ <laughs> you know what? It's actually one of those words where I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Really? People, in, people in the comments can tell me because I have no idea. <laughs> well, I, I, I handle a bit of her, her money. <laughs> nice. Way. So, nice, nice. yeah. And um, and that's basically, but it's just, to be honest, uh, a really small part of what I do. Mm. Um, but I just help her out a lot. You know, I'm, I, I, I drive over there. I, I live, uh, I have my own apartments. Mm -hmm. And... Um, my parents uh, uh, live, you know, somewhere else, and um, uh, I, I drive over there every day. And uh, but the, you know, driving clients around is just a really small part of what I sure. do. I, um, I, I'm there anyway. So a lot of times she just, you know, nudges me over and goes, uh, "Can you keep an eye on the crew for a minute? Because I'll be in a, in a, you know." A, uh, talking with some people or whatever yeah yeah uh, but uh actually what i do most of the day is animating <laughs> i was i was i wanted to come on to that obviously obviously i was going to come on to the animation side of things because <laughs> like one oh you know what's you know what's funny um the other day uh one of my i haven't actually mentioned this to anyone yet but uh, one of my students i can't say a name for um for all legal reasons stuff like that but Mm -hmm. um she's starting to get into um drawing and starting to and she's really good like she's into boku no hero academia and ah. <laughs> and she's starting to do like characters from that and then she started doing um like she's starting to work on little tiny animations here and there mm -hmm. and um and I, I said to her about oh i've got a lot of artist friends and i went actually i've actually got someone who is an animator coming on to my podcast uh, yes. over the weekend so i shown her uh, some of your stuff and she was like oh my god it's amazing and like it, it was <laughs> oh, just really nice it was super sweet because that's so sweet I, i'm trying to think she's she's 15 or 16 something like that but it's really like nice to see the passion in her like she really loves doing it and it's, it's something what she wants to do um for a living and in the future and stuff and i thought well yeah i know a lot of people i can't um like tell them my channel or anything like that because it's it's so different to what I teach at, in, in martial arts but yeah, yeah. I uh, I mentioned you and I mentioned a few other people too and shown like went on uh your your YouTube channel I went on to I think it was uh, Space Jelly Beans I went on mm -hmm. to Pillages I think I went on to Socos I I can't remember exactly but I think the people who are, have been on the podcast I shown their work I was like, oh yeah, I had these guys on the show, and she was like, oh my god, oh. <laughs> those guys are incredible. They're amazing artists. Yeah, they're, so uh, and they're just nice. It's nice people too. That's the, that's the thing. Like for for me with this, the reason I wanted you on here as well, and obviously uh, loads of people asked for you as too, but it's because Which I'm is, a I'm I'm not yeah. just a fan of your work. I'm I just think you're a cool person too because you can be. An incredible artist or incredible at what you do but if you're a bit of an asshole <laughs> i don't want to talk to you <laughs> if you're a dick well, yeah it's yeah. like you might be talented but i don't really want to have a conversation with you <laughs> exactly yeah no that's i mean that's all right but it's really um nice of you to to show her everyone's stuff you know yeah that's yeah. that's really you know awesome I don't know. I, I I don't know if there's. I'm sure there's loads of podcasts out there, but like, I just honestly, I just wanted to get to know you guys a bit better, you know, because obviously, I and I'm sure people who are listening to this, that's the exact same thing. They want to get to know you guys a bit better. So mm -hmm. I don't want the entire podcast to be just talking about like your work because I know we're going we're going to talk about it anyway. But just mm -hmm. to find out a bit a bit more about you, how's been? Are you? Do you live? Um, where whereabouts in the Netherlands do you live? I live in the the northern part. It's called Friesland. What? How do you spell that? Sorry. Uh, um, you spell it uh, F R I E S. F R I E S. And then, and then land. To give me two seconds. I'm trying to do this on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> so F R I E S land. Uh, F R I E A N. Wait, I'll I'll type it out in. Uh, yeah. 
That's fine. Oh yeah, you're not on camera, so I can actually look at your. What are you going to say? Yeah. How do you yeah, how do you pronounce that? Is it Friesland? Well, yeah, I suppose so. In English, in, in Dutch, we just say Frieslands. Frieslands. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it's it's so nice to um. This is something I'm so happy about when it comes to this podcast as well, because I get to speak to people from all over the world. <laughs> like, it's so nice. Because obviously, crazy, right? yeah, it's it's nice. And I'm always jealous, especially when it's like people from, uh, let's say, Netherlands or Germany or Indonesia. And, oh, Floating, Mag Floating Mag uh, Magani as well, I've mm -hmm. shown um, their work. But it's I, I'm always jealous of how good you guys are at English, because I am... I'm terrible at every other kind of language I can think of. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's it's also like English these days is all you need. True. Actually, so it's <laughs> well, it, it it for I can't speak for all these other countries, obviously, but uh, for Dutch people, English comes quite naturally because uh, everything, every TV show we watch is subtitled. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, so ever since I was little, I've been watching in English TV shows instead of Dutch uh, Dutch uh, shows, if they were, you know, originally English anyway. So, uh, and as soon as you start to learn how to read, uh, you can kind of, you know... Uh, pick it up. The, yeah, pick it up and yeah. read the subtitles a little, and then that's how you slowly and gradually, you know... So, uh, most Dutch people speak English anyways. That's fascinating because you don't. I don't think about that. It's it's kind of it. It's kind of the same feeling as now when I'm watching anime, where mm -hmm. like obviously it's in Japanese, but you're not trying to learn the Japanese. Even though I want to learn Japanese, that's something I really do want to do. Um, in fact, listen to you guys and how good you are at, at English has actually inspired me to learn another language. So I might do that another, uh, another time. But another time. But like with anime, <laughs> you, you watch it and you sort of start clicking on to what certain words mean and you mm -hmm. can start formulating sentences or at least watching it and we're talking Japanese and you sort of go I know what you're saying and it's usually idiot or shit face <laughs> or fuck you yeah. or <laughs> something mean or but, what? <laughs> yeah, nani. yeah actually, it's nani, 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 nani deska <laughs> <laughs> but then it's like you want to try and learn it and you think oh let's let's just try it and then it's going oh this is quite complicated alright let's slowly <laughs> back away I wanted to quickly send you a file that I saw um, while I googled your um, <laughs> your place because it is oh. fabulous, and I need I need to find it because is it I don't go up much. No, you, you, <laughs> you'll see it. Don't worry. But um, oh, have I got it? No, it's not going to work. Oh. It, no, it ain't working. No. Anyway, What's I'll I'll, I'll send you it. But basically, it was a it was just a picture of like obviously um windmills and really pretty things mm -hmm. and then there's this dude in a suit and he's just <laughs> riding a black horse and it's the most majestic thing i've ever seen it, is it a frisian horse it is it's it, yeah frisland is frislin I, I, i'm not too sure but a frisian that's basically um yeah the the giant black horses with those majestic manes flowing in the wind oh my god God, they those, all... those are native from here. Oh, <laughs> ah. That's, it's, yeah. Again, I, I I wouldn't have a clue because I am d -d 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 dumb. So <laughs> well, not dumb, but maybe. <laughs> Hang on, I've got it on the big screen now. My God, it's so majestic. <laughs> it's Isn't so it? Cool. <laughs> those those guys. We have those guys all over the place. It's it's the fact that in this picture, the the guys wearing a business suit. <laughs> like, and he he's got his hand on one hip and one hand on the uh, the reins and he just looks so proud of himself <laughs> <laughs> it's so good oh i want to um, go just for that is there any is there any places in the world you've uh, been to before where or is there anywhere you want to go uh i've been to quite some places because uh, well, our parents always thought that, you know, getting to know the world was very important. Mm. Um, I've been uh, to Germany a lot because uh, I snowboard. And, oh, do you? Yeah. And uh, it's not, not nothing crazy or anything. It's just for fun and just go up and down the hill uh, for a bit. So Germany, we frequent that a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been to 
plenty of vacations to, uh, to Spain, to France, to... Uh, you're, you're, so just, just, you're just very well traveled. Well, I mean, yeah, it's it's been a lot of um, going, just driving through uh, certain con countries sure, sure. as well. But, you know, I, I, I don't want to brag, but, you know, I've been places. <laughs> I've seen things. I've seen things. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a human from, of the world. <laughs> from, from a car window, but still. <laughs> but even so, like I, I remember, as a as a kid, I used to love just looking outside the window and seeing different things. And obviously, you got your majestic horses too. But <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> but like, yeah, it's it's nice. We always say that. Is it is the word? Is the phrase travel broadens the mind? Is that the word? I think it is. But yeah, basically, it just means like if you want to open your mind up. Go travel, go explore different cultures, go and spend some time in different areas of the world. And I don't know, it's like a certain place in the world where I just want to go to, just to just to take it in. Like I want to, I want to go to Japan and Tokyo. I want to yeah. go to Hawaii and New Zealand, Australia. Like maybe, hopefully, I will in my in my life. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Is is there okay. any way? Is there any way you'd like to go? Um. Well, I, uh, it's actually funny you say because uh, at the end of the month I'll be visiting uh, Camilla. You you know her. I yeah, think. yeah, of course. Yeah, and uh, she lives in Norway, and that's oh, actually a place I've been wanting to visit. You know Scandinavia. Yes. And because I like cold places. Okay. Uh, yeah, because uh, most people, you know, they go to warm places and, and you know visit to hit the beach, and uh, but I'm I don't really like like that. You're, As I you're... said, I. You're too tough for it all. Like you, you just you just look at people on the beaches going, "You weak, pathetic humans." <laughs> Filthy peasants. No, but <laughs> no, it's actually it's actually the opposite because I just I can't handle hot weather. <laughs> mm. I just I really I, summer is like hell for me, especially <laughs> in my new apartment because it just gets so hot and there's nothing I can do about it. I just melt away. There's been so many days where because work on animation is probably all I do um, mm. and there were like times that it was so hard in my apartment that I couldn't even lift the pen and mm. bring it to, because my hand my hand I I have these like I don't know if you know them but I have these like gloves that make it like easier for your hand to glide over the screen because is that the, is that the thing what goes over like one finger yeah well one or two finger the pinky yeah, finger yeah my, my, bro my brother has it because he, he I don't know how much he's into it right now, but he's like an animator and all that kind of stuff too. So yeah, mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about there for once. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so those guys. And and I couldn't even wear it because it was so warm that I would just sweat through the glove. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just, uh, I'm, I, 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 I gave up and I you, was just, I just lay down. You just get a couch. giant watermark on your screen instead. Yeah. <laughs> It was horrible, and and so yes, I prefer the colder countries where I can just put on a very fat, thick coats and, and <laughs> fat coats well, is great. I yeah. like yeah, <laughs> the big thick coats. I, I, oh, yeah. I'm it's starting to get cold um, over here as well, so like I'm starting to wear hoodies and stuff, and it feels so nice to just like it's like giving yourself a hug for the exactly. for the day, you know? I, it's it's yeah. nice. <laughs> I feel the exact same way, like wearing thick clothes, hoodies and, and, and like um, sweaters mm. and, and those kind of, of clothes. It's just like constantly wearing a comfortable blanket. Yeah, that's true. And, and when you're in a relationship as well, like you actually want to hold on to each other. Whereas in the summer, it's just like, ah, keep away from me. It's too warm. I can't handle human flesh right now. My single ass can't relate, but sure. Oh. <laughs> But you, you, you got your clothes to give you hooks as well. Exactly. And I'll <laughs> just buy myself a body pillow. It's fine. What would you have a print on it at all? Or would you just have the plain <laughs> pillow? I want to know, what would you have printed on a body pillow? Um, probably something weird. Go on. Um, <laughs> my mind immediately goes to a My Little Pony just to freak <laughs> my friends out. <laughs> <laughs> Because just because I think it would be funny, uh, maybe like maybe like a water bottle or, some, or something stupid. Oh, what? Sorry, a, a water bottle. Or oh, a water bottle. <laughs> like something that will make people go, "What the fuck?" 
So the barley pillow doesn't freak them out enough because they're like, oh, he's single, we get it. But when you have a picture of a water bottle or a picture of a, a giant pony would be amazing because then you have to look at you and go, oh, you're into them, are you? <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. Because, but then, like, it, it, it has to be, like, weird enough for people to not want to talk about it to other people. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it really has to make them go like what the fuck from the core of their being yeah like, like my guts they feel that yeah. little bit it's like some they, kind of pull <laughs> they have to be deeply disturbed that's uh, what i want to accomplish uh, that's what i want to accomplish <laughs> non non-vocal disturbance is <laughs> is the actual key for that that's amazing <laughs> and just and just make eye contact with them until they like slowly back off. Would you be I holding don't... it while making eye contact or would you be in front of it while it's that... on your bed or, or couch and you're staring at them like, yes, and? How, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, you invite him around for dinner and we just leave. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. What you do is mm -hmm. you, you invite him around for dinner, you get mm -hmm. a table set, you put all the plates and forks and knives and spoons and all that kind of stuff around mm -hmm. and you have one end of the table is your end. The other end of the table is your pillow's end. <laughs> and you get them to sit and have they have like a little napkin around them and everything like that. But you act totally normal. Like it's, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, this is, this is Peter. Like what, what's wrong? No, 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 no. Don't mention it at all. <laughs> <laughs> and it has to be disturbing enough for them to not want to mention it either. It, like, is it, uh, they just go along with it. It just traumatized them a little. <laughs> would, what's creepier though? Would it be, would it be to have it like that, or would having a candle lit table be more? Would that be more intimidating or more trustworthy? Like if it's if it's got candles around, nicely lit and everything like that. Well, it depends because it has to be. It has to create some sort of dissonance. <laughs> it has to create. It has to be like some. The thing on the pillow has to be like deeply disturbing and then when you set the table all nice you know it creates some sort of dissonance like oh yeah confusion and oh we so <laughs> so the atmosphere of the table has to counter the atmosphere of the pillow exactly wow this is a movie we're gonna make a movie of it. <laughs> let's do it <laughs> that, that would actually be a pretty great short you know it's just have a clip of someone being invited to dinner and them walking in and seeing what's happening, setting the scene a little bit and just go, what I, the fuck? Have you ever seen those, those um, like TV shows where it's, there's people who are like really obsessed with certain things. So people are obsessed with, um, oh, what was it? So there's like people obsessed with My Little Ponies, people who are obsessed with certain things, but there's one, and this is what I'm thinking of where, I, I, I believe, um, do you watch uh, Critical, Moist Critical at all? I, no, I don't. That's, that's all right. Um, I, I believe it was a video of his because he went onto YouTube and he found a video of a lady who has uh, cardboard cutouts of a Lord of the Rings characters. Perfect. And and they, and she has Frodo and uh, like all of them, like mm -hmm. <laughs> every one of them is, is, is there. And what's crazy about it is that she has a family as well so she has a husband and kids and um like really really like you think when when you see that kind of stuff you think oh there's something missing from their lives you kind of develop some empathy for them because you're like well we might just be lonely and stuff and then they have a full-on family and you go oh oh that's, but... this is, this, that's different yeah Hang on. i'm gonna try and find uh find the uh the video for you to watch after this because it is thank you <laughs> it is so weird and I, I, what i'll do as well i'll find a video and post it on oh i've got it totally obsessed lord of the rings there we go this so for this um you're more, more than welcome to watch it whenever you want but because mm. i don't know if i can legally show this on the no. podcast but <sighs> Just from the screenshot, you can you, you see where it's going. <laughs> yep, this is exactly what I was imagining. Hold on, let me see if I can. It, it, it's so it's so nuts to think like wow, it's, 
but it makes sense because there's there's millions and millions and millions of humans in the world mm -hmm. so you're gonna have a few who are a bit quirkier than others you know there's variations of every single person so you're gonna have some people who are like that and it's it's yeah. it's not fun to like laugh at it but then you have to embrace the that is a funny thing to a funny thing a funny thing to see like because it's such a an out there kind of it's so human, if I'm if I'm saying, because it's like it's it's just so random. It's it it is, but it it also what you have to take into account, in my opinion, is also that this is probably just one aspect of them. Absolutely. Like if you take into account that, of course, she has like a family, she has a husband, and she has kids, and uh, to make these kinds of things interesting, they amplify this kind of quirky little thing about them. And but you yeah. have to you have to take into account that, you know, her husband loves her probably hopefully. Yeah, yeah, he's and, a hero. <laughs> like uh, probably for good reason. And then, you know, she comes. I, I haven't seen the episode, but like I imagine that at some point she was like, so uh, I have this thing with Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Where, how do you think she broke it to him? Do you think it's like your scenario, inviting him around for dinner, and then <laughs> and they're just, <laughs> they're just round the table? If if it were me, I'd probably like mention it first, like a few <laughs> times, like uh, by the way, <laughs> put it on your um, Tinder profile. Uh, profile. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, you know the 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 Tinder profile picture, the first picture of you, then a picture of uh, your friend, <laughs> and then the third picture is just a bunch of cardboard cut out of. Cutouts of Lord of the Rings characters. Me and the boys. Yeah, me and the boys. <laughs> and tag them all, you know. Oh, you tag them. <laughs> Go follow my friend Frodo. <laughs> yeah. exactly. My God, this is the most random beginning of this podcast I think we've ever had. So congratulations, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was I was thinking to myself uh, before the um, before the podcast started that. I don't know what to call you regarding like your name because I have Ultramarine, I have obviously Pancakes, and uh, what, what's your name again? Iris. Iris. Uh, is it Iris or Iris? Iris. It's. Iris. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it, that's how it's pronounced in English. So. What's it like? How do you pronounce it? Iris. Iris. Yeah. So Are it's you... like double E R. I oh, okay, and I you suppose. roll and you roll the R. You're like Iris. Yeah, exactly. Very nice. I like rolling yeah. R's. It's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> but um, what, what do you like about snowboard? Is it snowboarding or skiing? Sorry. It's uh, snowboarding. That's so cool. I've always wanted to do it. It's really cool. It's like control slipping. <laughs> <laughs> you just slip and you just try not to fall. <laughs> It's kind of like Buzz Lightyear. You're flying. No, I'm falling with style. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what's happening. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. How long have you been doing it for? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> it's, okay. Um, for quite a while. But as I said, it's it's really not that impressive. I'm mm. actually not. I wouldn't say I'm bad at it, but I'm like mediocre. Um, I, I can't do any crazy tricks or go crazy fast or anything because I, I that scares me <laughs> <laughs> but it's just really fun to you know go down a hill and you know work on your technique and sometimes you get you know really fast and it's fun it's just like racing and, and it's just fun you should try it I, I definitely want to I, it's actually one of those those things I've always wanted to do but I I don't like cold, cold. Like oh. I can handle autumn cold, but not real bad winter cold. Like if I, I don't know. I don't know why. Just I, I'm de I'm definitely one of those weak, weak ones. What you, you <laughs> said earlier. But um, what's the? Uh, have you ever crashed out? Oh, like... oh yeah. I have a story. Um. So I have a, a scar, on the shin of my legs. Okay. And it was kind of a freak accident from. Well, not a freak accident. It's quite silly, actually. So, uh -huh. um, it if you're imagining like a crazy accident uh, while I was snowboarding, going down the hill at crazy speeds, you know, you know, falling over, face planting yeah. somewhere. That's absolutely not what happened. <laughs> so, <laughs> me and my mom were standing in the lift, <laughs> um, and uh, what you do is uh, you have. Uh, those lifts, you 
get pulled by something that's in the shape of an anchor. Yes. And uh, one person on each side. And usually because you're standing, uh, because of your position when you're snowboarding, it's kind of wobbly sure. to, to go. And um, usually you have a skier next to you to offer some sort of support. Yeah. So what happened was me and my mother were standing next to each other. I was snowboarding. She was skiing. And uh, at some point we fell over. Mm. And it happens sometimes, you know, shit happens. And um, uh, so uh, we get up and we try to crawl to the side of the of the thing as fast as we can, not to bother the people that were standing behind us. Of because course, yeah. You're you're in the way. Uh-huh. And um, so we're sitting there and we're getting uh, ready to go downhill and try again. Uh, when I noticed that I had a rip in my snowboard pants. Okay. And I was like, oh, that's inconvenient. And then I pull up the the, uh, the pants and you have like these undergarments to yes. keep you warm. And there was a rip in that as well. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I pulled that up as well. And, and you have like these crazy long socks, socks when you go uh, winter sporting. Uh-huh. And there was a rip in that as well. And I was like, uh-oh. And I pulled down the sock and there was a rip in my in my leg as well. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was so gross. And Ooh. like... You could see, I'm going to like describe this now in vivid detail. That's fine. <laughs> you, you could see like the flesh, like a little bit of blood, uh, you know, oh. going around. And I was like, I think well, I must have been like 16 or something. Eesh. Yeah. Eesh. So I was looking at what was going on and mom, mom saw what was going on and she like her eyes popped open like crazy and Mm. she was super scared and she was okay don't look at it i was whatever (laughs) you do don't look at it and i was like oh mom i'm getting dizzy (laughs) what's going on (laughs) like don't panic just keep breathing it's going to be fine you know and and we're like kind of freaking out and i was like mom am i going to survive how bad is it it was it was it was nothing it was it was uh, really not that impressive in hindsight. But at the time, if you can't look at what was going on, your mind starts going places. Of course, yeah. Yeah. So, of course, I was like, oh, no. So, at some point, she says, Iris, you have to get up and we have to go down. And I was like, well, I don't think I can. No. And she was like, honey, we have, to go. we have to get this stitched up. You know, we have to. Can't you call an ambulance? No, <laughs> I can't. I'm not going to call an ambulance. We don't have reception. I can't go. <laughs> oh. it, was, it was horrible. And so I, I, I get up and uh, we go down. And I was like, I was, you know, getting really wobbly and really dizzy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And like I was... You know, and it, it was so pathetic because, again, <laughs> it was just like a little, it was, I mean, it was kind of a deep cut, but it wasn't that big. Mm. I was being such a wuss. <laughs> but like, and, and I, I still remember at the little post thingy at the, you know, at the beginning of the hill. Yeah. Um, and they were there and she was like, yeah, we're not going to be able to put just the what's it called a, a thing we're going we're not going to bandage this so this has to be stitched you have yeah, have to yeah. go to the hospital mm. and i was like i i still couldn't look at it my mom wouldn't let me and i was like mom <laughs> am i going to die and she was like no sweetie you're fine <laughs> it was so dramatic but what happened was uh, when we fell over my shin fell over the side of one of her skis oh and when she got up she pulled it out from underneath my 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 shin and so like sliced exactly so her ski the side of her ski sliced in my shin and it was i didn't even feel it oh Jesus. the whole entire time i didn't even feel it it was bizarre like to look at it and to realize like uh, this shit hurt, hurt like hell yeah <laughs> but i couldn't even feel it it was so bizarre Oof. so that was my uh, ski story accident damn. yeah damn damn ski. damn yeah. Uh, it's it is weird how that happens sometimes uh, when i was a, when i was a, a chef like you'd every chef ends up cutting their hands cutting their fingers whatever it is it's just totally normal but the very first time i did it um it was the tiniest cut on my finger mm-hmm. and it wasn't anything bad in hindsight as in looking back to it but yeah. i remember i remember i cut myself and i, I just flipped my hands and went hey you bastard like you know real real fast 
yeah. but blood from it went all over me. And, <laughs> oh. and it, it was a tiny cut. It was nothing. But because I saw myself, like, with blood over me, I went, oh, God. And I felt really faint. And I've never felt faint ever. I'm not <laughs> squeamish or anything like that. And I just remember just thinking, oh, boy. Oh, no, this is good. And, like, yeah, I remember my friends were there. And I'm like, I need to be tough. I need to be tough. I can't, I can't <laughs> be fainting in front of my friends. Yeah, sucks of mes- masculinity. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, drink the blood out my finger. Be fine. <laughs> just relax. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Oh, do, there's so much dumb shit we do just to make sure we're not we don't uh we don't seem uncool in front of our friends and by doing that <laughs> makes us uncool <laughs> so. it just gets worse it just just bite the bullet and like uh, yeah and faint whenever you can <laughs> yeah just just go for it just smack your face on the ground do it. is that the um worst accident you ever had hmm probably not <laughs> uh, it's uh, uh, there was another accident also involving again in Germany and also while uh, you know sporting but this time um, I wasn't snowboarding I think I was still a bit too young to do that uh-huh. um, for a really long time we went to Germany to uh, go sledding mm-hmm uh-huh. And there was this hill, and it was a lot of fun. And I was a little bit younger; I think I'm ten years old. And uh, I went down the mountain, and I, at that age, you're not really afraid of things. Yeah, I, I get you. Yeah, yeah, you, you jump down things, and you go really fast, like no big deal because yep. you have no idea of danger, basically. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so I was sledding and I was going so fast, like crazy fast. And at some point there is like a little dip in the ground. And oh, so, no. Exactly. So I was like, uh, I, yeah, I'm going to ride over that and I'm going to make a crazy jump. <laughs> and it's going to look so cool. And I'm going to be like the shit, the absolute shit. And uh, that's exactly what happened. And then I came down. Oh, and, I crashed and I fell and it was really weird because I I don't know how it happened. I must have fell on my back. I don't remember because when I got up, I remember that I wasn't able to breathe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which it's, it was definitely not the most dangerous thing I've ever done. I don't think. But it was definitely the most scary thing because not being able to breathe. Like I I I could inhale, but I couldn't exhale. Yeah, you're winded. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it was, yeah. and like for five minutes, I was in because it never happened to me before, mm-hmm. and I was just in a blind panic. Like, I, and I was, you know, um, uh, nudging all these strangers to come and help me because <laughs> something was. But I could, first off, I couldn't speak to them because I couldn't fucking breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, they were all German. Oh yeah, of course. And I don't speak a single word. Of Ger- you know, we didn't yeah. have like German television programs. <laughs> mm. So I, I even when I got their attention, I couldn't. But people uh, fairly quickly realized that something was wrong <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, I was being there and I was blind panic and just going like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and there was a, what's going on? Are you OK, little girl? And, and like, people were walking. Around. I remember my mom said. Like the moment she knew something was wrong was when she saw someone walking around with my sled. Uh, oh. Yeah, and that that's what, that's what that was when she got like that mother sense, spidey sense kicking in. The like, mother strength. Exactly, like yeah, yeah, something yeah. is wrong with my <laughs> child. <laughs> that's when she basically came save me. But of course, when something like that happens, like uh, you, you, you eventually start to breathe again, and I was yeah, cool. still in a bit of a of a shock. But mm. not the, the, nothing was wrong. My, my muscle muscles were, you know, they took a hit, but that's all. You came back stronger in the end. Exactly. It's weird, isn't it? Because mothers definitely do get that like inner strength whenever their kids are in a bit of danger or something. And like, there's, I feel like mothers have different powers to mm-hmm. father powers. Like, yep. for well, at least my dad. If <laughs> if I I remember for April Fool's Day. Uh, as a kid, I remember thinking to myself, you know what, I'm going to try and, like, really scare my dad. And on <laughs> April Fool's, it was morning, and I remember pretending to fall down the stairs, and I twisted my body up so it looked like I actually fell at the bottom of the stairs. You my, meanie! I, I mean, my, <laughs> trust, trust, if anyone knows my dad, like, my dad listens to these, so dad probably will remember this, 
but he was he was t- <laughs> it wasn't that he didn't care but he was tired of my bullshit so i was on the floor like pretending to be knocked out like, uh, uh, like and my dad just walks over me and goes to the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Good morning. My, my mum, bless her, she'd be all over it. Like, oh, Dave, Dave, you okay? But no, dad's like, get up. <laughs> Let's carry on. Quit your bullshit. <laughs> it, absolutely. Like, my dad, all my, well, majority of my sarcasm comes from my dad. Um, my mum and dad are completely opposite uh, characters. So mm-hmm. my dad's super sarcastic and, like, real chill. My mum is a, a canon ready to go off at any point and my dad will always make fun of her um and what's weird is and it took a while for emily to realize this but that's exactly what me and emily uh, no that's what i'm like i'm like my dad and mm-hmm. and i'll be like super sarcastic always making fun always taking a piss and mm-hmm. i said i'll get off my dad and she didn't realize until she saw my dad doing it to my mom and she's like oh oh no this is us <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> pretty much oh man if freud were still alive he'd you know pat you on the back, back he, he, he would shake my hand and be like well done son well done. <laughs> you, yeah you, you proved me right my friend that was the creepiest thing to learn in psychology i um if i can cut you off for a little bit please go, um, go. i before i went basically full-time animator i actually studied creative therapy oh wow so we <laughs> Freud is a bit of a, you know, he um, his theories and stuff were really important. Yes. Uh, because it basically uh, set the whole psych- psychology world into gears. Mm-hmm. But when you really analyze what he said, it's actually a whole lot of bull. A lot of bull, did you say? Yeah, he he was um, he was important because he. Uh, his theories uh, were going to be researched by other people. Hmm. And because of that, like, they took this kind of practice, like, a bit more serious because... Yeah, I get you. But um, when you really look at what he said, you know, uh, especially, like, uh, the the Oedipus complex and that kind of stuff. It's been a while, by the way, so... (laughs) It's fine, dude. I might not know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> like um, that stuff is like it's really not true because first off, you know, gays exist. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so that's a bit, and he didn't really take that into account. I I had to learn a lot a lot about this, but I don't really remember any of it. But I do remember thinking, wow, this guy really did not know what he was talking about. So look no. it up. Google it. I have literally Googled it right now. So don't worry. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i read it out for you as well just so uh, y'all see. Um, so it says, uh, Audibus complex is the psychoanalytic theory and desire for sexual involvement with the parent of the opposite sex and a uh, commit, uh, concomitant sense of rivalry but I can't pronounce these words, <laughs> with the parent of the same sex, a crucial stage of a normal development process. Uh, Sigmund Freud introduced the concept in his Interpretation of Dreams, 1899. So it's like he, uh, as you said, he's a, um, he's a, he was like a catalyst for yeah. for psychological development of people and psychological research in, in well, everyone really. So yeah. it, even though what he was saying is not true, Mm-hmm. If he didn't say it back then, it like all that kind of stuff wouldn't might, might not have been as advanced as it is today. It's uh, still like kind of a debate whether or not psychology is considered. Um, hold on, I have to translate. This. Yeah, please. I have Google Translate ready to go in case I forgot <laughs> the word. Wait, right, it's still kind of a debate whether or not psychology is considered a science. Yes. Because it's really not tangible. Yeah, I, I, forgot, I forgot what it's called. Scientific method is it has to be proven and mm-hmm. it, has to be certain, it has to be certain tests to say that it's scientific, scientific enough. There's yeah. like certain things you got to do. It's not just woo-woo, um, if you would. Because math stuff is pretty easy, easily proven, but like mm-hmm. we know next to nothing about the brain. 
harming we can't, anything, yeah. We can't look into people's minds. We can, can't know what they're thinking or why or what they're subconsciously thinking because mm. subconscious is really important as well. Um, so it's really hard to prove certain things. You can test things and like those results are important, but like it's 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 hard. It's not black and white. It's not exactly. a case of it's not a case of you do this, 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 that means this. It doesn't mean that at all. I mean, it's it's what I do. I, I study uh, personal development, mind, I do mind studies and all that kind of shit. But like, mm -hmm. it's such a fascinating thing to be researching um, throughout my life. And the hardest part is to understand that you know fucking nothing about it. <laughs> and to be open to interpretation, you can sort of have guidelines of, this might mean this and then speak to the person about it but mm -hmm. you don't really know like you, you can you can do your best to find out and and then it's a case of if you're if you're doing it to help someone then you sort of base your results sorry you base your opinions of the um what you've learned on the results you get so mm -hmm. if you're trying to help someone uh, get to a certain place in their mind it doesn't matter what path is you're going okay as long as we get there and we have that result, that's the result, and then we can learn from what we did. Um, it's it's an interesting one, because... Yeah, and it's also, it's, it's the reason why I have so much respect for psychologists mm. and people who work in the mental health industry, if you, you know. Absolutely, yeah. And because I, as a person, which is also partially why I stopped you know, studying it, uh, I am I can be a bit uh, temperamental, if you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if I want to help someone, I want to unfortunately help someone sometimes aggressively. So I get you. you. Yeah, I, I have to sometimes, if someone is doing something which is bad for them, you just want to tell them to stop fucking doing that because you're mm. ruining yourself. And yes. you can't do that with clients. It's nice. just they have to figure it out for themselves. And it's so hard for me at least, to take a step back and watch them figure it out for themselves. And like, because that's what you have to do. Yeah. You can't just tell what, so you can't just tell someone what to do because as soon as you turn around, they're going right back into their own, you know, wrong yeah. habits, bad it's, habits. It's purely because you're telling them instead of them figuring it out for themselves. And yeah. no one, people, people want answers, but we don't want answers. They want, ways to figure out the answer for themselves because then it's like oh no i think of this out so it's my thing whereas um if you give them advice which you can do i mean if they follow it but mm -hmm. if you if you give them advice and they sort of agree with it properly not just go oh yeah yeah i'll try it well if if they go into it where you just they just listen to your advice and then try it well that's your advice they're trying yeah. not what they have figured out themselves so there's a detachment from it and yeah. when it when it comes to uh, helping other people, like this is something I've had to get really good at because I'm kind of like you, where mm -hmm. if someone's doing something fucked up, I'll reach out and go, "Hang on, what the fuck are you doing?" And and like you're trying to help them by like hammering them. Sometimes people yeah. do need to be hammered at yeah, that moment, of course. but it's, but it's, it's a, a delicate thing. You absolutely, know? absolutely. You have to know when to kick someone's ass, basically. Yeah, and it's if it's like a really close friend, kick your ass and then, then like slap him in the face first and then go, all right, come on, sit down. I love you so much. Let's sort this out. Yeah. Um, but then if someone's reaching out to you for help, one thing I've had to learn is become good at asking questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I guess that's psychology 101 when it comes to psychotherapy, but asking questions so that they can figure out for themselves or bring up their own solutions, that's great because it makes them feel like, oh, I figured it out. I yeah. did this. And there's a sense of accomplishment. Absolutely. And yeah. I think that's so important when it comes to when it comes to people's personal development is you gotta you wanna listen to all the stuff, yeah, that's fine. But you've actually got to do it yourself in the end. Cause, mm -hmm. and, and it's also for me as well where if I used to have this this thing of I'm going to help you. Um, I'm going to give you advice. And if you don't follow that advice or you get worse, then that makes me feel like shit because I I helped and it didn't work. Um, and I had to sort of detach from that because 
I would identify my own self worth on based on the results of someone else. Oh, that's a dangerous business. Bad. It was. It was. Yeah. I was young. I was younger. I was teaching like kids and adults. You're all the same, but once you've overcome that, you don't feel as much pressure to actually fix it. You sort of just open up the conversation to them all, and then if if they take the advice, they take the advice. If they don't, they don't. Doesn't matter. Um, because it's up to them in the end. It's bit, and everyone's on their own journey. And yeah. sometimes you jumping in on that journey and helping them, that's part of it. But for them to be able to go, okay, thanks for everything you just said. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to I'm gonna self-analyze. I'm going to do it myself and figure out what I can do with all this information. That's what you want. You don't want to be guy going, no, do this, 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 this. I've done it too many times and it just doesn't work. Yeah. And the danger about that, but the danger about that as well is when uh, you, there's people that come to you for help and then you give them advice and then they do the thing yeah. and then somehow it either doesn't work or it gets worse and then mm. they come back to you and they're like i messed up and that's your fault yeah it, it's it's so dangerous Bl it's, blame is so easy to do yeah it's um, something my mother has to deal with mm. because of her work and because yeah, she works she works the clients sometimes are difficult, you know, and yeah, then yeah. you give them advice and something goes wrong. It doesn't even have to have anything to do with what she said, but like they'll come up to her and they'll be like, my life is a mess and that's your fault. Yeah. I, 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 it's it's such a hard trap for people to fall into because it's, it's, it's such a, a weird stage for people's mindsets where instead of interpreting it as what can I do? It's uh, my life's fucked up because of this person, this person, this person, or these little little things what might have led to that kind of thing. Instead of going, okay, my life's shit. What can <laughs> I do about it right now? Cause... Yeah, and, and that's a lot where a lot of people go wrong as well because mm -hmm. what you just said is what a healthy person would think. Mm -hmm. um, what a lot of people with you know mental disabilities or like personality disorders would do is, okay, my life is shit can I find for me to fix this, to fix mm. this for me, which is not how therapy works. Mm -hmm. It's the therapist isn't there to fix your life. The no. therapist is there to help you figure out how to fix your own life. And mm. a lot of people don't get that. No. And it's, it's a weird one, isn't it? Cause uh, you see the whole trope of, if you ever see someone in therapy that the, the psych, the, the psychiatrist just sits there quietly and doesn't say anything and then the mm -hmm. person there is is talking more than anything and sometimes I, I've had it as, as well um, when I'm just talking to people coaching people that I don't have to say a damn word but they'll bring all the answers out themselves so they'll start talking and then they'll, they'll just keep on talking and through them talking only only out loud not really a conversation it's just them talking out loud they mm -hmm. figure it out because they needed that they needed that little space to go okay let me just talk and yeah, some, yeah that's sometimes that's all you need <laughs> yeah, absolutely it's it's totally true and for for me um i've i've gotten into um i know most a lot of people are doing it now but um i'm i'm getting into meditation a lot more mm. and my god it works for me at least i'm not saying it works for everyone but for me, just to just to stop, and I, I've I've got an, a kind of easier life. Let's be fair, but <laughs> you still have your 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 stresses and stuff like that. But so just to have that little moment where you just stop and not think of anything apart from just breathing, and just just bring everything back to like bring everything back to zero, where it's just you, and you just spend time with yourself and just go, okay, I'm gonna sit here for five minutes let's say and not think about anything just think about breathing not well, think about anything well just think about breathing and nothing else and then afterwards you kind of feel a bit more freer to approach whatever issues you got kind of similar for me at least when if i've got any kind of stresses going on um or something's building up i feel some kind of like emotional build up i'll mm -hmm. i'll i won't force it but i feel like sometimes i'll just need to cry and sometimes i'll i'll uh, it'll be like a resistance to crying and 
eventually it happens and then I just go. I just I'm just bawling for a bit. Yeah. And then yeah, afterwards I, I feel like, oh, okay, well, that's done. Now I can actually face the issue what what created the uh, upset, and for me at least, it helps. It helps, and everything just becomes clearer once you've released that emotion in that moment. So yeah, because there is like there is both sides. There's like an emotional issue, but there's also like a logical like issue, mm -hmm. and of course for every problem there's a solution, and um, so you know rationally you could just go like okay is my problem and now i'm going to take this and this and this and this step to solve it but then there's also the emotional side of it you know absolutely sometimes things just suck <laughs> yeah and there's like so many people when i have a problem and when i have a problem i usually vent to other people you know sure. i i you might have seen it like a lot of the time when something when i'm pissed about something i vent about it on facebook or i vent about it to other did i just say facebook <laughs> You did, yeah. I meant Twitter. <laughs> I yeah, haven't yeah, I got used Facebook, Facebook for years, but I vent and I vent yeah. and I vent. And, and a lot of the time people just go, well, why don't you just do this? Why don't you just solve it? And I'm like, yeah, I know I'm not an idiot. <laughs> you know, I, I realize I can just do this and solve it, but I am stressed about it or I'm angry yeah. about it or I'm sad about it. And I yeah. just want to solve. Release. Yeah, release. Just mm. A catharsis you know it's just let go of things and i need people to listen to me sometimes oh it's, it's not maybe like you need it's that you need to feel like you you have been understood exactly and sometimes that's all it needs to be where you're talking to someone and you're saying these certain things but you don't really want them to solve the issue no. you, you do want them to understand you know try and get where you're coming from so then at least you have someone you can bounce up not bounce ideas off but you have someone who's there to listen not to change you to be able yeah. to go okay here's your free space just talk about what, whatever your issues are and then through that it, it sounds weird but you sort of become your own therapist where you, you're able to talk out in the open and then self-reflect on what you said so you bring it out uh, from a visual standpoint because that's how i learn mm -hmm. mainly like yeah. you're, you're verbalizing it so then you can see it in front of you like this is what i've just said and then you can sort of pick it apart and go, oh, okay, pop, 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 pop. and like, what can I learn from this kind of mistake? What's the big, what's the big issue with it all? Like, my my big thing was like, um, my my weight was an issue where I was I was starting to feel like really lethargic and kind of like, uh, for for me at least, I felt quite down and depressed. Mm -hmm. And I sort of like I had a little checklist in my head of, okay, I'm feeling like this and. I first think, okay, what on the outside might be causing this stress? And I'll go, okay, this, 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 this. Okay, let's see what I can do about that. Uh, what can I do physically uh, about this stress? Okay, well, I'm not eating healthy. I'm not being high. And it sounds really cheesy and stuff, but it goddamn helps. Where I wasn't, I was eating crap, like sugar every single mm -hmm. day to the point yeah. where it's a self, just complete self indulgent spending loads of money on it as well which was one of the stresses as well where i was like oh i ain't yeah. got much money and it's like uh, oh i'm spending all on food food and sugar and shit i have something to say about that as yeah well. please go, go for it it's like uh because when i first started like the the animation thing mm. it was like i think two years ago mm -hmm. about two years ago maybe three and like i remember just sitting for for two years I've been just sitting behind my desk doing absolutely nothing during the day. I used to like cycle around, go to school, walk around, find my classes, mm. you know. Um, but then something happened and I started animating and everything went just full stop. Yeah, yeah. And like I didn't even gain that much weight, but mm. just not moving around it fucked up so much. It fucked up my mood. It fucked up my sleeping schedule. It fucked up like my energy levels during the day and it, it my appetite. It, it, it really, you know, not moving around even a little, it, it could, it can fuck up so much. So I recently, Absolutely. um, I downloaded a fitness app Yeah. and like it, certainly won't make you anything close to a bill or something it mm -hmm. won't even help you lose weight i don't mm -hmm. think but it helped so much with my mood 
my energy, my sleeping pattern is almost yeah. perfect now. It's bizarre because, as you said, it's so cliche, you know, um, sport, move around, eat healthy. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows this. And everybody's like, yes, of course. But people don't realize how important it is. Like the yeah. eating, eating healthy part is still a bit of an issue for me. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> but like even just moving every day, uh, doing the fitness thing for 10 minutes every morning has helped me so much. That's great. It's insane. That's amazing, dude. Like, because... It just as you just said in the morning, just that little tiny bit is is going to be huge, and it's 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 getting into a routine. That's that's the that's the thing for me. Where yeah, and I'm lucky because um, Emily is doing the exact same thing as me with the healthy eating. So we have each other to like bounce ideas off of what we're going to eat today, and it's way easier. And we're doing great. Like we've lost lost loads of weight. Um, it great. we're in we're in uh t-shirts and well emily dresses what we haven't been in the, able to fit in for like four years or something no well since we started going out really yeah and, so that's goals <laughs> yeah and, and and goals as well though because goals give you that bit, bit of motivation mm -hmm. and for you, you can go into the the actual chemical releases and the biological uh reasons why exercise is really good for you but it just it is just getting out of the house having a walk or having a gentle jog, or mm. doing something what what where you interact with nature, it makes you feel way lighter. And I remember getting caught into this habit of like streaming whenever I could. If I got a free free time, I would just stream, even if yeah. it's for like thirty minutes. As a and then I, as you were saying, because you're just stuck in one spot for like hours and hours and hours, your body's going, oh, we don't need to produce these these things anymore because you're just sitting on your ass yeah, so exactly. we don't need we don't need for me testosterone to get you going it's like oh well, we'll just lower it down whereas if you start for me at least like the, the, I, I told you what when i've when i uh, last friday i went on a treadmill mm -hmm. and i hate i hate running i really do oh, and that's and horrible. that's what I, and that's why i do it because i hate it but um nice. i could i could just get to like 30 minutes um the sun the friday before no the thursday before and I was I was like done. I can't I can't remember shit. But on this on the next day I went on a treadmill again, and I was like, okay, I'll just go for a run for fifteen minutes because a bit tired. I'll do fifteen minutes of this and fifteen da, 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 just plan it. Anyway, I started running, and then I thought, oh, this is easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, let's try and get to thirty. All right, and then I went. Well, now I'm at thirty. I've gone over thirty. Let's go for an hour. And I did an hour, and afterwards, like I went in the sauna. I stretched out. And afterwards, I just felt fucking great. And any issues what I had were still there, but I could handle them a lot easier. It's so great, right? Because I have, I had the exact same experience a little while ago. Like, this is very relatable because, mm. um, you know, planking. I, yep. I couldn't even do 10 seconds first. And now I can do like a full minute. Wow, that's crazy. And, yeah, and, and well, it's been over time span of two months, but you know, it's still, it's it's progress. And, that's huge progress. <laughs> progress. That, seriously, that's really good. Like core strength, dude. It's hard. <laughs> it's 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 very hard, and like I'm, I'm sweaty, and I get like I breathe heavily, and it sucks, but still, I did it's it. Supposed to. It's like shame in that. <laughs> and, and it's like, um, oh, what was the other thing? plank was a thing and well there was this other exercise that was like really hard for me to do at first lunges mm. yeah and the then it's, it's like no big deal right now it's, it's let me just do that real quick mm. uh, it's, it's it's so satisfying because i remember like sitting in a car and wanting to pick up clients you know and i just had a shower i had a stretch and uh, i went to pick up and i was i remember being so euphoric yeah like because it, yeah. sporting gets that hormone going, you know. It does. And I was, and, and I was so euphoric that I just forgot to pick up the client. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, at some point, I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then so it's, I, I can imagine, like, even though it was an "oh shit" moment, it was a, it was like a more of a, you, you didn't take it as serious. Like, oh shit! All right, and then go instead of, oh no, my life's over. Oh god, fuck! And it, it's not a depressing moment. It's more of a oh god go 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 let's go yeah. and get it done um one thing i noticed as well when when uh i 
drive sometimes because like sometimes it's just really horrible weather mm-hmm. and i go for the run and i get back in my car get into traffic and usually traffic's a bit a bit of a bug for me so it's like ah that, that person's an arsehole blah, blah, blah. Mm. but when i've exercised like massively afterwards i'm like yeah sure you can cut in don't worry about it mate. yeah yeah no problem <laughs> like it's all good like my 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 stress with my reaction to stressful situations is completely dropped because my body's like yeah all this pent up anxiety pent up aggression whatever it is it's been released and yeah. now i can now i can be human again i and yeah totally it, it's 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 just it's weird so like there's people who obviously are listening listening to this right now thinking ah shit i should be going out there and, and <laughs> doing it but if this can be like the little bit of a uh I'll say catalyst again, a little bit of a catalyst or a reason for mm-hmm. you to start doing something, please do it because it, it makes such a world of difference. And and you might feel like shit to start with. You might, but you might be able to run for one minute and then be fucked afterwards, but be proud of yourself for even doing it. Be proud it's, of yourself for just taking that step. Like a sort of a mantra I've been repeating in my head uh, mm-hmm. when I do this is how, no matter how bad you are at this, you're beating everyone on the couch yeah that's and it's, such a gangster thing to say and it's like um also because most people th- that was what i wanted to say a little while ago hey. because uh when you gain weight and when you, you know, well start to maybe dislike your appearance a little bit uh, there's a lot of people out there that go like uh it's not hard just lose the weight yeah absolutely and, and i'm like yes but like with the emotional versus the like rational as well like yeah of course it's like you eat less you move more and you solve the problem like yeah that's what you do when you get overweight you just lose weight but yeah. there's like the emotional factor as well look at mm. the reasons why someone started gaining weight maybe someone is depressed you can't just like go Click. like just 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 get up and move around and eat mm. healthy that's not how it works so mm. what i want to say as well is like do it at your own pace definitely do it whenever you feel like doing it like uh, that's exactly what happened to me like at one point just suddenly i was like okay and now i'm going to pick this up and i'm going to just do it and wait for that moment because it's fine just take your time i think that's that's good bouncing off that thing what you just said as well dude like and just be proud of yourself for starting yeah because we 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 have this idea and i'm sure it's with I'm sure I can relate to artists and and yourself as an animator, but you feel like once you start, you'll you'll be, you'll get your goal instantly, or you'll feel great instantly. It's like yeah. it's not. It's it's take that first step, and then the next day take two steps, then three, then four. It's it's not going to be an instant transformation, but it's gradual progress. And then after, if you keep doing it, and over time look back of where you were started how you started what you were like back then and then be proud of yourself for how far you've come along because you were brave enough to take that step you were brave enough to say to yourself you know what enough's enough let's do something let's yeah. do something to help and, and yeah yeah go on, and, please, what you... and even if you have like a shitty day like even if because a lot of the time i'm just like god and i really don't feel like doing this and even with animation, like uh, sometimes you just have those days where you just like, I don't feel like doing this. But then mm. you get maybe like one or two frames done or like one shitty exercise done instead of like something amazing. But sure. you, you still did something and you got to look at that and like pat yourself on the back as much as you can, like, because you did something. Again, you're beating everyone on the couch. Yeah, it's it's so true. And we we we're, you're just supposed to go through those moments where you don't want to do it and then if you're able to get through that little bit and just do something might not be the full thing but do something that's huge because you're overcoming that little you, you're creating a habit of overcoming that little demon was saying don't do it mm-hmm. and and that that person that monster was who what was taking over all the time you've just chipped away at it a tiny bit like okay well i've heard you say don't do it but i know that's because you don't want to feel uncomfortable but we're going to do a little bit now is that okay? All right, let's try it. Okay, yeah. and then you and then you start the ball rolling. The amount, of, the amount of times I've, um, let's say, it comes to streaming, and I'd sit down at the computer, and I'd just sit there and go, 
Ugh, man, I have <laughs> no motivation right now. And then I, I, and I just say to myself, like, okay, at this point, I'm going to press start and I'm not going to try. I'm not going to fake it. If I'm tired or anything like that, I'm going to be there. And then just, just go with the flow. And I'm so glad I start. Um, yeah. Obviously, sometimes if I've ever had like a proper mental day where it's, it's, it's as a mentally tough day, sorry, mm-hmm. um, then I will go, you know what? It's totally fine for me to step away. It's I'm sure everyone's going to understand, but the majority of the time, it's just one of those where I'm I'm trying to avoid avoid a challenge, and it's like, okay, well, let's let's do it, and then they turn into the best streams, <laughs> you know. And yeah, it's it's interesting. I mean, for for God's sake, there was uh, not Wednesday just gone, but Wednesday before, I I did I had no idea what I was going to do for the stream. I didn't know what I was going to do, so I literally just went fuck it, let's just do a chatting stream where I'll just sit there and chat with people. And I remember lying back, like just chilling. And I was like, this is really nice. And through that, it gave me an idea of what to do for certain days. And that wouldn't happen if I just, if I didn't just start, you know? And... It's, it's, it's something because I have another friend who regularly streams and mm. like, he kind of has this problem, that problem as well sometimes. Like he mm. sometimes really doesn't, to do but like the whole idea and the whole charm of streaming in my opinion isn't really what you're doing necessarily it's more like the contact with the person that that makes it like enjoyable to me at least and like you could just people like him and people like you could just you know start streaming and just chat with people that's Mm. what it's all about you don't even have to so it's and what i was what I'm trying to say, I guess, is that sometimes people feel the need to entertain people. Yes. Like I, I have to do something because people think I'm boring. But totally. like, and I have to do this game be- because this other game is nobody's going to like it. But like mm-hmm. most of the time, people aren't there for the game. Let's be real. Yes. They're, they're there for the contact and the live stream and the the live experience like Mm -hmm. the contact with the creator because if i wanted to see a game or a playthrough i just watch a youtube video absolutely so you know that's the thing and that's maybe something maybe other live streamers who are listening to keep in mind like um, they're there for you basically yeah Yeah. and i i feel like for me at least and this is only because i'm this is how my mind works, but when I'm playing a game, which I'm I'm not really enjoying, and, but there's certain people who like suggest games or play this game, and I go, you know what, I'm going to check it out, mm-hmm. and I'll play it, and it's let's say it's a big game, so there is a, a story to it. It's not a short game. It's like it, if you if you wanted to, you could do multiple streams of it, basically. But mm-hmm. the the moment I don't like a game and I and I don't like streaming it, I just stop streaming it because. I can't like it, I can't commit to a game for a stream if I'm not enjoying it myself. And people no, might want people might want me to play it, and I'm like, okay, I I I'm so sorry, but <laughs> I'm I I don't like it, so I'm not gonna play it. No, of course, but it gets like really icky and really fake when people yeah. kind of like pretend. Definitely. So you know you can either you know push through and just finish the game just for the sake of the people that are watching Mm -hmm. or you could just be real and be like hey like i don't like this game i'm not enjoying it and i would much rather do something else right now totally and people can and people can sometimes sometimes be a little bit entitled maybe so i think they have a right to be because it's it's only because it's their own feelings and everything because you're not gonna you, you don't want them to be faker either and say oh i'm not annoyed but like you're under no obligation to hold on to it just because you're trying to please everyone. Because trying to please everyone is just the worst thing you can ever do mm-hmm. as a streamer. Like you, you want to do little things what bring the community together. But if it's a case of you're sacrificing your own enjoyment to meet the need of other people who are watching, yeah. it's a difficult one. I don't know. I don't know if there's, there's life to that. And as you said, it. <laughs> You can tell when they're not enjoying it. Exactly. I, I could not. I, I could not ever. And I think this is why I'm not good at any game because I, I could not be a streamer who only commits to one game, or I or a YouTuber who only sticks to one 
game and very obviously i'm saying this my entire channel right now is going to be podcast but like <laughs> when it comes to a game and i'm sticking to it i don't know if i could I, I, maybe i don't know maybe it would be a case of like i'll play a game of uh, untitled goose game and then i get a million views and i get a million subs i don't know how that'd work <laughs> anyway but like when i go oh, okay let's let's do this again but i don't want to I don't want to be milking it dry and if I don't like the game then I don't want to play it but if I like the game and it's getting people in and it's getting people interacting and it's doing that and it's growth that's the that's the best like when you're still enjoying the game exactly and I also just want to point out that like a lot of people um, they say like uh, numbers don't matter to me and numbers I don't care about the numbers and blah blah but if you do something and like you get a you gain a lot you gain a lot of subscribers you gain a lot of you gain a lot of really positive comments and saying nice things about you like that shit is is gratifying and mm -hmm. maybe you know there's nothing wrong with enjoying that i feel Absolutely. like i feel like there's a lot of people it's kind of a taboo but like i feel like there's a lot of people out there who feel like they're uh, they're horrible people for liking positive feedback i i <laughs> i totally totally agree with you there with, but, regarding what your thoughts are but there's nothing wrong with enjoying positive feedback like there's a lot of people going like oh you're just saying that because you want compliments or you're just saying yeah. that because you want people to be nice yes i want people <laughs> to be nice to me sorry like what are you going to do about it like <laughs> i i honestly feel like the people who i mean this could be me talking out my ass but and it probably is because it's only an opinion in the end do it um but oh yeah don't worry <laughs> i don't care <laughs> but like people who say oh i don't care about the numbers i don't look at the numbers i feel like they're the ones who <laughs> they think that's the right thing to say so they're gonna say it you yeah know? but like but, if you didn't mind the numbers why even mention it <laughs> why <laughs> yeah if you, if you didn't want to grow your channel or get new people in why are you even streaming why don't you just play the game yeah or just, exactly. just talk to yourself <laughs> phone, phone someone up on discord and have a conversation hey i just want to have a conversation with you for two hours like of course i want this to grow it's goddamn it's human nature to want to grow and expand and get better and bring new people in exactly like but a good one thing i love about doing this is i enjoy doing it as in i enjoy talking to you like this has been a, a fantastic <laughs> podcast you. like and for me it's i'm it's, glad <laughs> it, yeah, yeah bless you but like i i want it to grow because it's it's part of who i am i want to i want to improve i want to have new people find you as well like i don't want it i i, I would i'd hate it if there was um if there was like a, a moment when the the conversation is incredible the, the the person i'm talking to i really care about um and then no one watches it i'm like ah oh, damn i don't want you guys missing out on this and it's it's not obviously like i benefit if people you know give feedback and get interacting and find the channel yeah but it's not just about me it's about yourself and the other guests because i know how cool you guys are and i want to make sure people listen to you talk about you not just talk about your work you know and just, just these moments when we we spend time talking and finding out who we really are is so important and I don't know. I'm so passionate about this this podcast, and I want it to be good because I love doing it, of and course. I feel like it's it's a it's great for other people too. So going back to what we're talking about, yes, I fucking look at the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, of course, and of course you do, and, and you should. Yeah, yeah because uh, it's 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 something I I like noticed a while ago is that I sometimes do the bits animations like mm -hmm. i make like these little snippets and i put them together and eat them on youtube <laughs> <laughs> and like um it's it it's like kind of a double-edged sword it can mm. be really frustrating but it can also be gratifying because totally. uh, at some point i had the my last bits animation in the thumbnail had like uh, this old lady in it and mm. like it, it wasn't really 
gaining any views it wasn't really going well and i was like uh, what's the matter is it mm. uh, the the tags or is my animation just not good and yeah. then i changed and then I'll, at some point i was like maybe it's a thumbnail and then i changed the thumbnail to uh, the little blank gameplay uh, figure yes. who is yeah. Kind of well known, you know, and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and and I mean, not to not to put myself on the pedestal, but like he has an interesting design, you know, the spider guy. Yeah, yeah. And suddenly, it gained a lot more views. Like you can learn things, and you can yeah. figure stuff out about how you can get it out there. Because, and I imagine it's with the podcast as well. You want people to look at it because you are proud of what you've made. Absolutely. And you should be proud of what what you've yeah. done. You yeah. should be you should be proud of. Mm. I people, totally agree. People should see this. So yeah, look at those numbers and figure out how to get out there. Do you mind if I like have some of your videos playing in the background while we still talk? I, I just I realize that I don't I want to make sure I've got your permission because technically I'm using it on my channel and I don't I want to <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. I just realized what I'm doing, but is that cool if I put your stuff playing in the background? Not yes. with any sound or anything like that, but just... you have my full permission. <laughs> Appreciate it. No, because uh, as you were saying as well with um... oh yeah, these are awesome by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, with with like what you were saying then. Just, just, I, I feel like sometimes people say that because they, they don't want to look at the feedback and, yeah. and like start, how can I say it? Just analyzing what we've got to do. They'd rather just hide their head and do, do a thing, but not really pay attention to anything. So if a video doesn't do good, it's like, okay, well, what did I do wrong? Is there something that I messed up on? Is it something where I can just, as you just said, like I can change the thumbnail, then it's done. And mm. And it's like, okay, well, all I had to do, it's so cute, I'm looking at this animation, it's so good. Um, <laughs> but like, you, you're watching certain things and you think, I've worked really hard on this. And like you just said, what do I need to do to improve on it? Is there a reason Is, is there a reason for it? Or is it just that it's just not that good of a animation being open to that kind of stuff? Because if you're hiding away from the truth, you're not going to learn, you're not going to grow. And it's just something that, I don't know. I feel, I feel like it's something that people need to sometimes do. Where I don't think you should be obsessed and identify yourself as I am. I'm a shit streamer. I'm a shit YouTuber. I'm yeah, a shit yeah. animator, artist. If it doesn't get enough likes, yeah, you shouldn't like. You shouldn't identify yourself by the numbers, if you know what I mean. Yeah, totally. And you got. I yeah. think you just got to use them as a tool. Yeah, but, exactly. But, but not have it reflect as you. I yes, that's that's so key. Yeah, that's that's the most important thing, in my opinion. Yeah, it's so true. God, I haven't seen these animations for ages. I, the last time I watched these animations was actually downstairs because I, I usually watch all the YouTube videos on my Xbox. So it's really cool to watch these again because they're so damn good, dude. <laughs> Which one are you watching? I am watching Having a Clue. Having a Clue. Oh, I love that animation. It you, might be it, one of my favorites. It's wonderful, dude. Like, really, really good. And again, I want to make sure that people who are watching, make sure you watch this, please. Please. This is, this is the awkward bit where I didn't leave you a like, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there you go. I left a like. I hardly ever like videos because it's yeah. usually, I'm usually watching it on Xbox. And like, I just, just don't like it, unfortunately, because the Xbox controls off or it's it's near my feet instead of near my... <laughs> the no hard feelings. I, I never like any videos either. Yeah, exactly. I just, I just forget, you know. I just, eh, I, I'd much rather leave a. Comment. Yeah, yeah. I'm a com Yeah, I'd much rather leave a comment too. To be fair, I am going to quickly nip to the loo. <laughs> oh, um, okay. <laughs> I, I've had so much water and coffee today. Oh boy. Um, but uh, what I'll do is I'll be back in like two seconds, and we'll start some questions. We've spoke for over an hour and a half. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it's gone by oh. fast, dude. Yeah. yeah. So let me. Uh, ye uh, let me uh, go toilet and I'll be back with some questions. All right. All right, back in two secs. Not two secs, but a minute. <laughs> okay. minute. I'm back. Hello. <laughs> let me just make sure everything's uh, still recording. <laughs> I, I always have this like horrible uh, thought that we're, we're going to have, I, I, I know it's going to happen one day. I'm fucking terrified of it where it's going to be like an amazing podcast, awesome conversations and stuff leads to 
delete things and then I didn't press record. It <laughs> <laughs> oh. has happened to me in the past. Whew, it's it's kind of nuts where you, you, you just hoping the god like it's always near the end as well where i'm like right, thank thanks uh so and so for coming on say bye bye and afterwards i'm like please please no <laughs> yeah i'm so terrified my, my ass twitches every single time i'm so scared of it let me just make sure there's any no it's all right because um we're gonna move on to obviously the questions now um and you've had a bunch by the way yeah, I've had quite a few. I've yeah, been reading them. it's been. Oh, you've been reading them? Yeah, because How? I want to be prepared. How dare you? I've not read a single <laughs> one of them. I've liked them. Oh. I'm like, thanks for sending in your your questions, but I'm like, no, I don't. I don't want. I want to be off the cuff. <laughs> oh boy. No, it's fine. You're way more prepared than me anyway. You're professional. I'm not professional, so it's fine. So I'm so professional. Holy <laughs> shit. Totally professional. By the way. Mm -hmm. By the oh, way. How. By the way, how random has this podcast been where at the beginning we were talking about you having a body pillow, pillow with <laughs> My Little Pony and then went into a proper deep conversation about psychological, like, psychoanalyzing and stuff like that. It's like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> it, it happens all the time. That's like basically my life. <laughs> that's exactly what I want this podcast to be. I have no <laughs> idea what we're going to talk about. I know we've got questions at the end. So, like, the questions, obviously, are so they're great to use as well but they're like my mm -hmm. safety net so it's like i might i might have this bit where oh I'll, I'll have a conversation with someone for five minutes and in my head i'm thinking this isn't going anywhere let's go to uh -oh. questions let's go to questions for <laughs> and st stretch yeah. it out for two hours or something like that uh, mm. that's the most awkward thing right it's like i i used when i did school and i had internships sometimes you'll have these colleagues and you just don't click absolutely and it's like, and you're sitting there, and it's just silent, and it's this horrible thing. Yeah, yeah. And it's, that, that was like a little bit of a for me as well, because sometimes I'm just not good at talking, and like, oh, and like, oh, what if I do the podcast and it's just not going where oh. I think something oh, like that? Oh, uh, good thing I'm good at rambling. So Wait, that, that makes two of us in the end. <laughs> I, I, I generally don't. I, I'm not going to be get stressed over if, if. If a, a podcast doesn't go anywhere or anything like that, because in the end, it's a conversation between two people. Like they're gonna mm -hmm. click or they're not gonna click. So far, everyone's clicked for me at least. So, Good for you. <laughs> like, and obviously this one too, I believe. Um, but yeah, yeah, so it's just one of those things. But uh, anyway, question time. Yeah. Are you, you ready? I'm ready. Even though you ready. know now, you know all these questions anyway, and you've got a, <laughs> you have. A, I know you've got a piece of paper in front of you with prepared <laughs> answers. And I was going to actually do that, but I don't. Oh my, like a politician <laughs> that's ready, ready with it. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yep. <laughs> um, so Nightmare Wolf, um, who has changed oh, their course, course. profile picture to a freaking awesome headless wolf. That's so gangster. Wow. It's so cool. It's very cool. I need to be spooky. I have no idea what I'm going to do for spookiness. Uh, I, same. I'm not creative enough. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, stop. All right, uh, <laughs> so... Nightmare Wolf's question is, so what's the deal with you in Sour Candy? What mm -hmm. did Sour Candy ever do to you? Okay, I don't know about this, so... yeah. So, I've I, 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 I seen it coming, because uh, we have, like, this bit of a thing going on between us. Okay. She, I, like, I, like a normal person, I absolutely despise Sour Candy. Like, can you supposed to be sweet? I have no idea why you would do something like that to yourself, eat sour candy and apparently like some kind of maniac she she's for some unexplainable reason she likes sour candy so can you give me like, ex examples of sour candy because I, so, I i might fall into this category as someone who likes sour candy as well <laughs> <laughs> you absolute mad lad i'm mad lad. It's, <laughs> <laughs> no it's like uh sour patch kids oh or, they're great or those like those big balls you can put in your cheek and like suck on and like they're really jaw, sour jaw breakers jaw breakers thank you uh -huh. and uh those those kind of kinds of guys and i have like a friend and he likes to cut like a, a not a lemon but the other guy lime 
a lime. He likes to cut those, a lemon, lemons probably as well, cut yeah. those guys in half and just squeeze them out in his mouth. Oh, that's that's taking it to another level. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not likes, that level. Oh my God. And I'm like, why would you do that to yourself? I don't get it. It hurts. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> Like a sour candy. Candy is supposed to be nice and sweet and enjoyable, but instead you choose pain. I know what Why? it is. I know what it is. <laughs> I know what it is. It's... So, you know, early at the beginning of the podcast, uh -huh. when you said you like cold weather, mm -hmm. limes and lemons and sour, typically sour fruit, grows yeah. in heat. I believe that's why you don't like them because you can taste the heat from them. You can taste that. You are, you are growing in a hot place. I don't uh, like hot things. I like, I'm, I'm like, allergic. no, but like, like sour candy as well. Like maybe those remind me of the, of the sour fruits, like the tropical fruits, if you will. Yeah, that makes sense. It's, it's, it's uh, <laughs> you, and you, like, do you, yeah. Do you actually have a, um, uh, like a an anger issue with that though, because like it, I just heard you go, I'm like, oh Jesus, all right, oh, dude, sour candy is amazing. I have like a very fight me attitude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about these these sweets. I've just oh wow, there's there's one what's called Pecker Patch Sours, which is a penis. So I've got to <laughs> scroll, <laughs> got to scroll by that one real quick. Oh. No, I, I'm sorry, dude, but I I'm I'm on the uh, the sour sweet train as well for this one you heretic i know and here's and here's me saying five years ago five years ago five minutes ago that we clicked on the podcast now it's like ended it's done get out uh, i i there's there's these thing, things these sweets called warheads and yeah. and i remember having those as kids and i'd eat so many that my tongue felt like it was melting off and why I, would you do that to yourself because i'm a moron <laughs> <laughs> you absolute peanut uh, you fucking walnut uh, why would you do oh, that toxic waste that was the candy what we had in school that was it that was what it's called toxic waste if it was they tasted like absolute ass it was like tasting a, <laughs> it was like tasting a sweaty foot like, it's like it, tasting the outside of Satan's anus. <laughs> uh, Amazing. But no, I, I genuinely, yeah, I, I used to eat. I haven't, I don't eat sour candies that often, but like, I don't, I barely eat candy. Tomorrow is my cheat day, so I can eat whatever I want, which is <laughs> nice. But noise. I'm, a, I'm a chocolate guy more than anything. Yeah, I'm a chocolate um, over candy. Chocolate cakes and like muffins and cookies and those kind of guys. Yeah. And, 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 you know, the, the ironic thing, um, since what we just said about, you know, tropical fruits is I really like the taste of lemon. And that's interesting. Yeah. And I, because like lemon cookies and lemon flavored cakes, oh, and yeah. even, even lemon flavored, uh, candies, like, uh, those gummy kind of guys. And, um, uh, we have a candy called Napoleon and they're really small kind of round candies that you you know they're they're even sour and i really like those but like it's the point where you just kind of put something in your mouth and you cringe about it like your face implodes that's yeah. the that's the moment where i go nope and i'm like <laughs> i know what candy you're on about the napoleon ones yeah i remember, I remember these ones i've had these before they're delicious they're good right they're very good i they're, they're really like Better things what my nan give me. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but remind me of my nan, bless her. Like, yeah, she she's loving it still. She, I don't think she has sweets anymore, but she used to be have a, just a boatload of sweets everywhere. Here, are, Dave, here's some Werther's Originals, which are just like toffee oh. candy. I can't remember yeah. where we are, but oh boy, my teeth would uh, would be uh, getting rinsed. So you're kind of a hypocrite then as well, because. Uh <laughs> but there's there's i just honestly i just li really like to ban banter with her because yeah, we course. have like this feud going on and it's, it's just funny uh, but like in a sense i might be a bit of a hypocrite <laughs> maybe you know dude it's totally fine don't worry <laughs> I, I was a hypocrite with um my diet and stuff at, like a while ago where i was telling people oh you should be doing this doing this and then as i, I was driving home i'd pull into a shop and get chocolate and stuff so like <laughs> i get it it's all good um, it's like yeah, and you gotta have banter with each other. You can't not have banter. Banter's fun. Goddamn, you gotta be able to rinse each other and 
you know, play with each other's emotions. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them up with the bolly pedal. Exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just my little pony is swinging towards her face. Like, ah! <laughs> That's it, taken <laughs> out. Uh, so next one is uh, from Skid Space. Um, ah. They are saying, uh, do you have any bucket list projects, like things that one day you would love to do or create or simply be part of? It's funny you ask because I am currently working on an animation okay. and I, about which I'm very passionate and I really, uh, you know, enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. but there is a part two. Oh. And uh, that's because uh, every time I post a lot of works in progress and every time, uh, usually I just post the entire animation, but I've been leaving out the last part sure because it it's like uh, a bit of a, a bit of a, a cliffhanger for part two uh, okay because what i've always wanted to do but never really had the chance to do never properly there has been one commission but like it's not my own idea what i've always wanted to do is make a fight scene oh yeah i've, I've seen you uh animating fight <laughs> scenes before yeah, like with the the guy in the blue hoodie. Yes. Which is a project from Blue Vertigo. Please check them out. <laughs> I'll check them out right now. Blue Vertigo, uh, you say. Uh, blue, and it's called oh, Brightly Burning Ether. That's the animation, what it's called. I've uh, posted about it uh, on Twitter in the past, but like fight scenes, because up until this point, I've only been doing like YouTubers talking to each other. Sure, sure. And like, that's fun and it's fine. And it's really fun. like, I never had a sense. Say, me... say that again, sorry, buddy. What? Do, I, I, it sort of cut out then. Uh, what, did, what did you say? You said I've never had a... Sense. I've never really had, had a sense of, um, that I was putting... I've always felt like I just took other people's videos. I see. You know, yeah. and, and it's like because I just get like this little piece of audio, the funniest part of the video, hopefully, and then like animate it. Mm. And that's not really mine. I I just feel like I'm a bit bit of a leech. Okay, yeah, I get, I, I get, I get where you're coming from. Right? Because like... People always ask me, like, oh, how did, how did you... Well, I mean, relatively, I'm, I, I, I grew quite a bit. Mm. And, like, people always say, like, uh, how did you do that? And I'm always like, uh, well, you just put Jacksepticeye in the tag. <laughs> <laughs> and people will find you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I've always wanted to do something that was mine. Mm. And I feel like the 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 next animation, the fight scene, is going to be that for me. But other than that, um, like maybe put out my own series. Hell yeah, that'd be cool. I've I've been like before. I've been making fan art. I've always had like these fancies inside my head because um, at the start of the podcast we were talking about driving around and uh, like when we were talking about driving, uh, visiting uh, different countries yeah. and like you always stare outside the window and you kind of let your fantasy go and that's when I always would think of like stories and series and like characters and all those guys sure. and like I, I'd love to make my own story someday mm. that, that that's the thing as well with, with animation and compared to just just let's say comic art if you would it mm -hmm. I, I feel like well i'm sure it's a given but animation takes so much more fucking time yep <laughs> so it's like you you have this ambition to do certain things and you're like it's slightly different because there's a time difference and you go okay if i'm going to be able to do this I'm not thinking by the end of the week. I'm thinking by the end of next year, I'll have a complete yeah. project. It's like, yeah. my God. It's, and obviously, I see your updates and what you're doing on... It's usually Instagram where I catch your stuff more than mm. likely it's in your stories. But every single time, I'm like, fuck me. That is so much work. And like, I commend you for that because I, I would not be... I'm not that patient as a person, especially when it comes to that kind of stuff. So... Like I, I bet yeah. I get stressed out editing 
a fucking <laughs> podcast where it's the same thing all the way through. I just have to edit the beginning and end most of the time. And I can't uh-huh. when I go toilet. <laughs> but <laughs> like for you to just be on that over and over and over and over and over again, it's like, damn, when you commit and you want, you and I, you have an idea, you have to commit like yeah. fully. And it's, it, yeah. it's, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I was, I was pretty, pretty much done. Go on, go on. Okay, uh, so um, I said this in a stream a little while ago as well. It's kind of like watching a series. Mm-hmm. For me, I animate for my own enjoyment as well, because otherwise I don't think I would be able to, you know, keep doing this and keep at it. Um, so, and I think I've said this on Twitter a few times as well. The moment you finish an animation, it's kind of like when you finish what series like you've seen the the final episode mm. and it's done and you're kind of sitting there like all right now what yeah i, I, get <laughs> I have you. nothing to do yeah, so yeah. a lot of people what a lot of people see is like holy shit that's so much work. why do you work so much it's it's for my own enjoyment as well mm, definitely so and, and when it's finished you get like empty feeling like okay now what Mm. I don't have a life. I don't have friends. What? No, that's not oh. true. But like, it's 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 kind of like this empty feeling. You have, you finish like finishing a book or finishing a series. It's like now what? Mm. I'm I'm getting that with so many different like mangas and and animes and programs right now. It's kind of oh, it's kind of like watching when I watched Breaking Bad for the first time, mm-hmm. and and it's a fantastic ending to the to the series. Like really good. And yeah. afterwards, I'm like. Oh, ah, shit! I need to find something else to do now. Like, oh no, and it's, I, it's hard. if there's ever a point where you're watching a series and you watch it to the very last episode, and you go, "Oh, thank fuck, but that's over." I'm so glad. Like, that's not a good series. It's, it's that thing where you're like, "Oh, I want more, but they're not going to give it to me ever again." Like, I respect that more than something what's just being dragged out over and over again because it's trying yeah. to keep going it's like my god just end it when it, it's supposed to fucking end and exactly and at some point it's like um you the point you start to realize like wait this is just last season storyline but with different characters <laughs> hold on that's the point where i i'm like all right i'm whatever it's it's horrible as well when you're um when you're let's say we're watching a Netflix show or something because it tells you how many epi- episodes there are. So, mm. you know, you're getting closer and closer to the end and you're like, Oh, okay. You prepare yourself. I'm, I'm reading um, attack on Titan right now. And yeah. like the, cause I, I watched the anime first and then after the anime, I got impatient and I started reading the manga cause I was like, I want more. Anyway, I'm, of it's, I think I, I believe I'm, I've d- I just read the man the the most recent release yesterday, and I'm reading it, and in my head I'm thinking, "Holy shit, this series is about to end!" Like I'm getting really, cl- I can sense I'm getting really close to the end right now, the series, and I'm really, I really don't want to keep reading because I'm so sad that it's ending. Because Attack on Titan is like super mainstream. Like most most people get into anime because of Attack on Titan, mm-hmm. so most people stop. Oh, I, I say most people. Because I sort of, I'm, I'm saying that from my own point of view too, but you kind of lose respect for the anime because it's so mainstream. That yeah, you know, kind of an icky thing. yeah, and and then I had to get over my own bullshit and I watched it, uh, the anime at least, and it's incredible. It's so it it's so good, and yeah. it's coming down to the end of it uh, and the manga, like the entire thing's finishing basically, and all I'm thinking is. I'm very sad about this. <laughs> yeah, but, but there's also something I wanted to say about like liking mainstream things. I and this is from my own personal experience because I used to have a boyfriend uh-huh. that was really all about being niche and being uh, being a hipster and like, oh my, exactly. Uh, it was like, oh, you listen to that music? Mm, that's pretty mainstream, uh, you know. And I'm and at the time I was like because I wanted to get his approval so of course i was like oh yes of course no i listen to this music as well like uh, and i'm so unique and i'm not like other girls and yada yada Mm -hmm. (laughs) but like at the end of the day sure there's some there's there's like the, the reason why some things are popular is because it's good 
most of the time. Yeah. Like yeah. if it's mainstream, doesn't mean it's same thing with trends. Like sometimes things are popular because they're fun. Minecraft, for example. <laughs> for example, like it's a good game. It's a very good game, and people don't realize it. Obviously, PewDiePie is the person who set it up and exploded. And obviously, Jacksepticeye and PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye work together now. When it comes to, yeah, I know great videos too, but like when you play yourself because you're like oh well let's let's play i watched it i thought i want to play that game and then i what i play it and i remember thinking like oh but this is a kid's game and i'm watching it and i'm like it's not just like, this is everyone's game and i play it because i fucking love it and yeah. it, it, obviously everyone jumps on it and people think oh you're only doing it because of this person this person I'm like yep that's exactly why i'm playing it because that person played it and that person played it and your point is any any, any yeah, argument exactly. like and a, you're, well, what? yeah you're only playing this game you're only doing this because this person this person did it i'm like yep yeah yep i did yep <laughs> you're, and you're right yep i don't care <laughs> it's, and i'm glad i did it <laughs> yeah like it's it's yeah yeah exactly i'm glad i'm, di I'm doing it and god the amount of times like um people would like reach out, me, out to me going oh you're copying this 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 i'm like i'm not exactly copying but i'm definitely getting inspiration from it and yeah and I don't care about that because I'm not stealing. I'm creating my own thing, but I'm definitely getting, I'm learning from how that person's doing it and then doing it myself or doing it in a certain way. Like yeah. I've absolutely learned certain things what uh, Sean would, would do in videos or how he'd interact or how he'd interact with the, let's say just his community. It's like, oh yeah, I want that. I want to be able to do that and create my own community where I'm interacting with my community just as much as Sean's interacting with them because mm -hmm. I think it's the right thing to do. And yeah, I'm 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 copying his ideas <laughs> of how to do it, but I'm not copying him necessarily. It's you know? called having an example, look it up. Precisely. Right. And yeah. it's like, how else are you gonna fucking learn? Like, yeah, I, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting one. And it's, when, when people usually go like that at me, uh, the best thing you can do is just agree with them. Because yeah. what are what are they going to do, mm. honestly? Like, oh, you're copying this and this person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does for me, it's like, I, I, it, I'm playing this game and a lot of people are gonna be playing at the same time because it's a thing to do. Yeah. and it's it's a fun thing to explore it's it's there's no it's not sinister it's 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 nothing like bad behind it it's i want to play this because i think i'm going to enjoy it i think my guys are going to enjoy watching it and there's no copying there's inspiration maybe or or like how many people do ego work because of Markiplier and Jack yep. I jumped yep. on that bandwagon. Loads of people jumped on that bandwagon. It's, and it's fun. Like when it's people fun. make make fan art of you, but you're like your evil alter ego. Oh, I had yeah. like a few of those. That's epic. That's cool. I love it when people do that. I, I like it because it brings the community together. Yeah. You know, and that's what I that's why I I like it. I like the reactions of of it all and it's just fun to explore that kind of stuff. I'm not good at it, but I like doing it. And I I got heavily inspired by Sean doing all his. When I finally started watching his egos and looking at his ego stuff, I was I was I was watching it and all I could think of is how did he do that? How did he put that glitch in and trying to break it down into certain things of like editing, I thought, that looks really fun. Let me try that out and yeah, it's it's just interesting. Like there's there's no shame in taking inspiration. No, absolutely not. Because what, what's 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 the what's the phrase? There's no such thing as an original thought or an original idea. Yeah, because exactly because there's I don't know what the saying, but I do agree because people also just something I've noticed is that people always kind of call themselves out if you will, mm. uh, when they hop on the trends and they always go like, yeah, there's some real original content, ha ha ha, you know. <laughs> uh, I think uh, Ethan uh, from Crank Gameplays yeah. does that quite a lot, like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because I'm not original. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, but, you know, deep inside he's like, oh my god, I'm so cringy, why can't I think of anything original? But like, if, if, if something is fun, if a challenge is fun, and if you think you'll enjoy doing it then why not just do it just do it because <laughs> it, it, it could bring new people into your community what what wouldn't have been there before 
and exactly. and then they become they, they don't just turn up because of the the game you played they turn up because of you and then it's a new person who's in the community and then it's and then they start talking to people in the community they become friends they meet up they they hang out and that can happen so like you can explore certain trends be okay with that try and do your mm -hmm. own thing but it's going to be your own thing especially because it's you doing it i mean yeah. yeah you don't just put on a fake irish accent <coughs> and then like you know start going like when people in the chat go ding 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 on my twitch when i'm playing minecraft in my head i'm like uh i don't want to do that because that's sean <laughs> and, <laughs> well I'm, like even if you if you just make a gag out of it yeah exactly like you, you play like you, you play along with it and as long as you acknowledge that oh yeah this you get you get the joke you get why it's it's a meme you get how it's originated and all that i think that's mm -hmm. fine and yeah sure yeah taking inspiration is super important uh anyway we, we spoke for a long ass time oh. for that one <laughs> next uh, question next next qu oh yeah that's another pewdiepie one where it's next question god next damn question. uh <laughs> dragoness ether says where did you get the inspiration ideas for visuals uh and comedic effects do you they just come naturally or do you pull from your past experiences Oh, um, and that was yeah i didn't bring it up on the camera i had a big screen but yeah that's from dragoness ether ah okay i've seen her them around mm -hmm. um but um well uh, it's hard to say because a lot of the time when you think of something maybe you've seen it somewhere yeah so i don't know but i feel like i usually um, for visual effects, the thing is when I when I think when I make an animation, um, I start out with the audio, and then I, you know, go from go from that. And sometimes you'll be standing in the shower or walk around, drive around, and you'll think of something funny to put in. It's that's basically the process, like you you start out with audio and then you have kind of a story in your head create images in your head and you draw that and that's basically how it happens mm. same with expressions and stuff it's like um sometimes people comment like um well you're um, very good at putting uh the characters of the original people in the drawn versions of them yeah. but it really depends on how good their voice acting is and because they're not acting at all they're just being themselves uh, it gives me uh, really good material to work with so it's not really on me it's more on them yes like i understand i understand i, I, I watch a lot of game groups animated as well <laughs> and i i'm always so impressed with like the scenarios that people will just put them in from no real context in the in what we're saying they'll just come up with some brilliant ideas and it's like wow how i how do they think of that kind of idea when we're just talking about i don't know anything really and obviously game comes talks a hell of a lot about random stuff but yeah <laughs> like, just just seeing how it works is insane you know it's it's very in inspiring to watch that kind of stuff and yeah and i'm watching your uh, getting over it right now too and <laughs> Like yeah, it's just it's just great. God, that's three minutes. How yeah, how long did it take you? Oh man, I have um, so back in the day mm -hmm. uh, because that animation is like a few years old now. I yeah, two thousand eighteen May, I believe. May yeah, there you go. So mm -hmm. uh, a little over a year old. Um, but uh, usually I go like a minute of animation usually takes me a month. Oof. especially at that time because and that's quick wow like um a minute that's 60 seconds and that's 60 times 24 and that's the amount of frames you have to draw um, oh, okay yeah because it's 24 frames a second yes so um but at the time i did a lot of like quick animation and sh in kind of shortcuts mm. uh so um that I, I gotta say, like got the getting over it anime, it's it's not my proudest thing I did. No, of course. Okay. <laughs> like uh, a, a lot of people like know me from that animation, but mm. like 
it's it's really not like but anyway back to the topic um it's three minutes long and i remember like having a bit of a a to-do list Mm -hmm. um to keep people updated so uh, on tumblr so every Uh... time i got something done i would like post uh, a post with a text post with like okay so today i did this and tomorrow i'll do this and then just like a list of things i had to do and if i like stumbled upon something i would just add to that list and just constantly post like everyday updates about how i was doing yeah yeah sure and i think in total must have taken me like i think at least three maybe four maybe five months to make um yeah but it's it, it has to be somewhere between three or four months somewhere in that right yeah it was like um it 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 was a lot of work and i at the time i was really proud of it and i like it's it's to this day my most popular animation either yes i did i did look uh at that but again like we were saying earlier you're looking back Mm -hmm. at it and you, you might think it's not your best work but that's not a bad thing because it means you've grown like you've grown into your own a, a better style maybe a better way of doing things but you've grown yourself so if you felt like that was still your best work that means the stuff you're doing right now hasn't improved so you know it's, it's a catch-22 isn't it when it's, it comes to it, that kind of thing yeah it's 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 kind of a catch <laughs> it's, it what uh, no 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 i was about to say I, I totally get what you're uh you're talking about when it comes to yeah, what you're saying uh, about the video itself, but it, I I like it. I've, I've always liked it. I've always liked the um, the, the can we hit a billion likes from I think it was Cranky, wasn't it? Was it Cranky uh, Man? It, I think it was. Do you mean the the gingerbread animation? Yes. Right there we go. Yeah, that's 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 one of my favorite it's, as well. Yeah. Because of the r- ridiculousness of the situation. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just. Yeah, it's, and and the expressions I really enjoyed the expression. It's, it's wonderful. I, I, you know what? I think I actually saw this video before I. F- no, no, it wouldn't have been before I followed you. It couldn't have been. But like I remember, see- I remember seeing this, and I thought, "Oh, this is really cool." And I went, "Oh, it's Ultramarines." <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, was shit. Yeah, it was it was really cool. It's super duper cool. Um, we'll go on to the next question. So, uh, ask me, but I always. Every single time I do a podcast and Dallas be throws a question, I always say to ask Pi just to let you know. Anyway, um, <laughs> what inspired you to become an animator? Actually, yeah, I've been, I'm, 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 I have not asked you that myself. So, yeah, Dallas B, what inspired you to become an animator? All right. Um, well, Spirited Away from Hayao Miyazaki, you know, Studio Ghibli. Dude, I've got, a, I've got a no face tattoo. So yeah. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. It's hardcore. Well, it's, <laughs> it's, a, cool. it's it's no face in Totoro, um, but yeah, I've um, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> it, same. It's it's because I I remember when I first saw it, and so my parents are split up, mm-hmm. and uh, I used to always every other weekend I used to go to my dad's and would always like uh, rent uh, a DVD or mm-hmm. a video and um, we would watch a movie together me and my brother could pick out the movies and my dad would pick out a movie and it would be nice and at some point uh, he picked spirited away because mm-hmm. when you look at the cover it's really dark and gritty yes. like sure there's an animated character uh, on the front but like it's very dark so yes. when i was young and i was a bit afraid of like adult movies. Well, not adult movies, but you know what I'm saying. I get you, yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, I thought it was a scary movie at first. I thought uh, I would think it would be scary. So and when my do- dad came up to me and he was like, you should really watch this movie. I was like, no, I don't think, <laughs> I- I'm not going to do that. It's, it looks super scary. And he's like, no, you really should. And I saw it and I was so enchanted by it. And I watched it like, four more times that day and Mm. and it was like uh, the next weekend i was at his 
I, I'd hire it again because I wanted to see it again. And I was like, oh my God, because uh, first I wanted to be a, a comic book artist. Okay. Um, my YouTube channel's name, uh, because I think I created it in 2007, is Comic Lava with AH at the end because okay. I wanted to be a comic book artist. Oh, okay. But then I saw Spirited Away and I was like, you can't do this with comics. Mm, and I, I want you. I want to do this. So that's what inspired me to become an animator. Um, Spirited Away, but also the fact that, you know, uh, I like uh, I like my work to be dynamic. Mm, totally and, understand. And then you, you'd have to do that with movements. So I just like making characters move and you know, basically making them come alive. That's a great answer, dude. <laughs> Very nice answer. Uh, we have a, a few compliments to be fair from a few people. So I think this is, per well, this person's name right now is called Sebastian because it's spooky season. Uh, mm -hmm. Just saying, uh, your favorite, yeah, their favorite scene from her is getting over it. Um, mm -hmm. We have Dingo Hunter 74 who says, um, when, oh yeah, when all of them, but Robin just gives up, he he. And then Dingo goes, yes, best animator ever. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Um, and then we have, hang on a second. Yeah, that's a, there's a lot of like just confidence saying how good you are. <laughs> so like Sapphire K saying, uh, uh, that veil of your work. Um, oh, here we go. Small Mallow or Small Marble. Let me just put this mm -hmm. up on the, the big screen. Um, yeah. There you go. How often does she work around the clock? Does she take long breaks or short ones? Okay, so depending on how I feel, um, it's anywhere between I work all day, every day, and I don't do shit. Mm. It really depends. Most of the time I work all day because, well, animation is just a lot of work, but also I don't like to be bored. And what breaks... Uh, you know, uh, breaks, I don't really like to take long breaks because it gets me out of my workflow. Yeah, I get you. And so I just, I just go grab something to eat real quick and uh, something to drink. I have to remind myself to drink, actually. Absolutely. Because I forget. Uh, like, um, so usually I'll just have a bottle of desk and you take a sip every now and then mm. and like if i start to feel hungry i'll just eat something real quick and then i i'll move on but like those are my breaks sure sure so yeah uh, you just get into a, like a work a flow state as you said and yeah, I, I, exactly. yeah I get you so, so it's basically like you you sort of you can you could get away of not taking breaks but you force yourself to Kind of. There's, of course, days where I don't feel like I just my head is just isn't into it. And like, I'll take sure I'll take a lot more breaks. Mm. But most of the time I'll some someone has to tap me on my shoulder and be like, hey, uh, you know, you should get something to eat or yeah, we made soup. That's the thing we do oh. a lot at my mom's place as well. The clients make soup a lot. And they'll be like, oh, do you want some soup? And I'm like, uh, yeah, sure. I probably need to eat something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to go, oh, oh, hang on a second. Yes, please. I need to yes. live. <laughs> yeah. And and they'll get together on a big table and eat soup together. And I never do that. I just go behind, sit behind my desk mm. immediately and, and continue working. Because I get you. I get you. It's cool. I just got into it. So, um, so Flaresha or Flaresha, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... This is my fear is butchering people's names in the podcast. Do but, it. Um, yeah, I know. We, we, we've got two. So when you first started drawing, how did you find the effort to keep going and try and get better? Second question is, how did you find your style of drawing? Or animating, whatever you want to say. The, the, sorry, the second? So the second one is, how did you find your style of drawing? Um, but I thought, or animating, depending on which one you want to answer. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I zoned out. Can you repeat the first one? Again? The first one, yeah. Um, when you <laughs> don't worry. I'm so sorry. It's all good. Um, when you first started drawing, um, how did you find the effort to keep going and try 
and, and try to get better? Uh, well, uh, it's, it was usually uh, a, a bit of a frustration because I used to have like uh, something in my head that I wanted to draw mm -hmm. and then the thing wouldn't work out. Sure. So that's my motivation to to keep going, you know, to keep getting better because I'd have an idea and I would just be like, okay, I have to make this work somehow. <laughs> I Yeah, I see. So you have like a goal in mind, like for my idea to come to fruition, I've got to get my standard to this point or I've got to get my animation to this bit because if yeah. it's not up to scratch, I've not put my idea across properly. Exactly. It's It's all about getting ideas across and yeah. not really necessarily about getting better mm. i suppose it's 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 secondary okay yeah. like yeah I, I suppose you could get going and like work really hard and work on your anatomy and whatever and that's good you should absolutely do that mm. but to me it's not really a priority and i suppose it shows in my videos because my anatomy and my stuff isn't really good as it could have been mm -hmm. but it's it's more to me it's more about getting something across getting an idea across i totally get you yeah totally get you it's kind of similar to what uh, they said about how do you find your style of drawing as well um like you just said it's actually not about the actual drawing itself it's how it's put across the message what you're trying to portray in that video yeah, yeah. and and like with finding your style it's more about like people always wonder like how did you find your style as if it's something that you thought of mm. but it's really not to miss it to miss it that's dutch uh, <laughs> at least <laughs> <laughs> to me uh to me it's not something that i i, I used to have those friends uh -huh. i used i used to have like those artist friends that would try out like a bunch of different styles and just come up to me and be like okay so which one do you like best and mm. and i was uh, i used to have this friend who would do that all the time and like she was a bit of a <sighs> bit difficult uh, but <laughs> we are we are no longer friends that's but, fine um, <laughs> that's cool but like uh and I, I would always be like what does it matter just do what you like doing mm. do what, Pe be, yeah. Yeah. yeah people pleaser exactly uh, yeah and, I, I get and it. It, it's like because when you look at my my like first animations the the getting over it animation is a really good example i used to have like these chibi like you know guys and uh, mm. with the with the eyes in the shape of a big like c the letter C uh -huh. with the little pupils inside and I thought like oh this is a really fun style to try but at some point I decided no I don't I really don't like this and I think I could do so much better if I just you know did a, a little bit different mm. and that's what I stuck with because I liked it the best nice it's it's really not about it's really not about like what looks best or what what you know being unique per se mm. is because if you want to draw manga or anime it's kind of a cliche in the artist world to do that but if that is what you enjoy doing then do it then just do it. like uh, i do think that you should start out with drawing realistically because that way you just you know learn how to do the basics mm. and when you know the rules you know what rules to break yes i get you yeah so and and that's like so start out because that's something i've missed my entire life so if i could give a little piece of advice to artists who start out start drawing realistically when you know the rules you can break them nice i like that that's very good that's very good yeah. so, um it... i read that somewhere <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was off the top of your head. Like, oh my God, some amazing <laughs> No, I'm not that coming. smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, Isidore ha asked the exact same thing as in why inspired for your art style. So you've already answered that. So you need to, uh, to answer that. Same for Roxo origin story. You've already mentioned uh, answered that one too. Um, yeah, okay, it's a weird uh, name, but 
your boy's skinny penis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, my boy. <laughs> my boy. Uh, he goes, uh, what's something you're passionate about but would be considered weird for most people? Any guilty pleasures? Oh, uh, let's see. Because I feel like I'd ha I have a few, but of course, right now I can't think of them. Wait, um, so, okay. So, you know, when you're at a restaurant. Yes. And um, you order something to drink. Mm -hmm. And it comes with a little glass bottle and a little glass to pour it in. Yeah. And something I'm really passionate about that other people think is weird is when you pour the contents of the bottle in the glass and it doesn't fit exactly so you're uh, talking about the perfect <laughs> angle of pouring well if it, when you pour the entire bottle in and it doesn't go in entirely uh -huh. you know what i mean yeah, yeah so yeah. the 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 glass pours over and that the oh. the those things like your glass is way too small to fit the entire yeah coca-cola or something in. Uh -huh, uh -huh. and you have to pour you have to drink it a little and then pour again that's yeah. something like <laughs> i can be really weird about i guess is you when that it. happens because i enjoy when things just fit like when oh i see yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so so let's say you have uh, uh, yeah, I, I get what you mean. So the bottle isn't the right size for the glass, or the glass isn't the right size for the bottle. Exactly. Uh, I totally and, understand. And you pour it, and it doesn't fit, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally understand that. It's, it's, I have the same thing when it comes to, uh, like, I go to a bar or a pub, and mm -hmm. I want to have a cider, and they give me the glass. Um, but yeah, it's something satisfying. Uh, yeah, I, I know what you're on about, because <laughs> yes. when, when they, like, they the, the bottle... Uh, is whatever size it is and the glass is the perfect size for the bottle as long as you put ice in it you have to put ice in it to make it so it, it works out if you don't put ice mm -hmm. in it it doesn't it's not as big as the as, as the uh, it doesn't fill up the glass to where it mm -hmm. should do and you yeah. look at it and you're sort of disappointed and then the opposite <laughs> happens too where if, if it, the glass is too small you're like what the fuck do I do with this bottle and I just drink it like a fucking savage <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, and I mentioned that to like uh, my my family, like my mother and my father and brothers. Yeah, and and they're always like, so just pour it again, <laughs> just drink a little and pour it again. And I'm like, no, that's not how it works. I just, just want a fit. bigger, bigger glass. Just give me a bigger just glass. <laughs> give me a bigger glass. Put put some ice cubes in. It's not that hard. Mm -hmm. And they're always like, all right, weirdo. No, yeah. I, I get it. I 100% I get it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll help you out there. Yeah, I totally get that. Like, um, uh, next time, I'll just say to them, like, whiskey agrees with me. It'd be whiskey <laughs> recommendation. It would be a risky, well, a risky recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, nice words, Castle, Castle Courtney, uh, they've all, you've already answered um, best advice to give to beginners, because uh, that was study uh, realism and try and draw mm -hmm. realistically. Um, but they just quickly asked as well, what program do you use to animate? So here's the thing. Um, what program I use mm -hmm. is, it's like probably the most frequently asked question I ever get. Like ah. people ask that all the time and I never answer it. You know why? Go on. I put the answer literally everywhere. Oh yeah. It, if you go to my profile and you just do a little bit of research, you'll see that I use Flash. Yeah, I, 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 I've read that on one of your posts that you read, you use Flash. <laughs> I use Flash. It's now it's called Adobe Animate, but like it's, it's, it's everywhere and people ask it all the time. Hmm. And for that reason, I put it everywhere. Like when you go to my profile, it says uh, my Twitter profile. It says mm -hmm. I animate. Sometimes I use Adobe Flash, by the way. Profile picture by Vacuum. Yeah, yeah, right. That's yeah. That's exactly where I read it from. That's exactly where I read <laughs> and, it. And it's and it's on my Tumblr. If you go to the description of any of my videos, uh, you'll see the pro programs I used. And yet, <laughs> <laughs> I still, I mean, I'm not mad. Of, I'm not like angry at anyone ever they no, ask that no. because i get it you know it's just easier to just ask i get it yeah 
but like I I don't I will not give you an answer because uh-huh. it's everywhere already I get that yeah. so it's I'm, I'm sorry I'm probably a terrible person for this no, no, for doing no, no. this you know but like it's it's there it's already there um and okay. uh, no, no that, 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 you answered it you answered it <laughs> yeah I did yeah, I was going to say, um, streamers have the exact same thing where they ask you certain questions like, oh, have you ever played this game before? Or, or where, oh, mine is mine is like, oh, where mm-hmm. did your name come from? How did you come up with your name? And I, I want to make a command. So, like, my my um, mods can just go, Dave doesn't have to answer that because he answers it almost every single stream. So here's a <laughs> command, boom, and it's there. There you go, have a read. But people don't want that they actually want to hear you say it too so it's like it's it's a it's a ca- sometimes I actually like saying the story if it's been a while but when mm-hmm. it's been a bit where um i think in one stream uh i had like five people ask in different times like i was like yeah. damn all right let's just copy and paste this answer instead <laughs> it's it's a thing right because at, at, at one hand i get it because, mm. as you said, it's probably not even about really knowing the answer to the question, but more about uh, looking for interaction. Mm-hmm. And I get that because I do that myself all the time. Yeah. But on the other hand, it's like, all right, but it's right there, though. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> or I, I, like, I, I... in your case, like I've explained it like a million times already. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. And you should make that command, I think. I might do. I, I generally might do. I might do it tonight, actually. Do it. <laughs> just, just in, do it. Just, just do in it. case. Um, and there's actually one where I feel like it's spam, so I'm not going to ask that one. Uh, but there's one from uh, artsy underscore book or, well, creepy, creepy, creepy Sam. It's in dot, 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 Sam question mark. Hey, I did that. I did Dave dot, 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 dot question mark. You're copying me. How dare you? My, my original idea of putting a question mark to my mom. How dare you? <laughs> no one's allowed a copy. Everyone's no one. ideas are original. This, this my my idea is called uh, is protected on yeah. copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um but yeah they say um well first way we go, yes because they celebrate when you're coming on. And <laughs> and then it's uh, what's something that you learned over the passage of time about animation that you think is super important and would share with anyone who is thinking of it as a career choice yes so i've read this question Uh and um i've been thinking about it a lot like okay what's something i would share to you know help beginner beginner animators and the thing is i think what people should realize is that with animation there are no shortcuts there there are certainly ways to make animation go faster. You could like rig, uh, rig uh, characters and that kind of stuff. So you can just like tween, uh, tween them. Just like, I know uh, know what tween means at least. (laughs) Okay. Okay. So like exactly how they do like 3d animations, like with 2d Mm -hmm. and uh, you know, there's ways to make things go faster, but, not everyone what might notice might notice yeah but it is noticeable mm. and if you want to do that if you want to rig stuff you'll have to get really good at it and that takes time and that takes practice so there is no easy way out mm. and like if you want to make things look good in animation you'll just have to put in time it's like there is no way around it mm. unless unless you want to like there's uh, this YouTube channel and like it, I think it's called like uh, uh, something along the lines of like minute animations or story time animations or that kind of thing. And people submit their stories and they'll make an animation and they they'll put out like uh, five minute or ten minute animations uh, four times a day. Oh, are you talking about? minute videos as maybe probably it's got it's got a uh, 1.5 million subscribers so (laughs) and it's a bunch of i'm assuming i'm assuming it's uh yeah animations looks like it at least but yeah 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 
So those guys, you can tell that they didn't really put a lot of work into those animations. So it's like, I. Okay, so here's the thing. This is just my opinion, mm -hmm. but it just looks horrible. Mm. It just looks bad, and you can tell that they didn't put a lot of work into what they make. They just want to churn out animations and stories as fast as they can. So, you know, those guys are all about the numbers. They don't care about quality quality it's just it's oh, not I'm, I'm seeing it yeah i i'm, I'm not going to put it up on on the on the big thing but i i get it I you can tell it. right yeah so yeah I, I i i get it i totally understand what you're talking about uh -huh, uh -huh. and if you want you know quality over quantity and you want to make something that you're proud of and you want to make something that you could show off to your friends and family and maybe even make a YouTube channel and show it off to the world, which you should do if you want to do that. You know, put in some work, make something you're proud of. And what I want to, you know, say to people is there is no easy way around animation yeah. because it'll look like that. Yeah, I, I unless that. Unless you put in work to learn how to decently rig something but again that's just putting in work yeah so, still, so you still have to put in work no matter what you, no matter what i had a talk uh, to someone uh, i talked with someone recently who does 3d animation yeah. and like we were talking about 2d versus 3d and it's like well when you do 3d you don't have to worry about this and that and then he well, we do 2D animation, you can do this and that. So, mm. and we came to the same conclusion, like no matter what you do, there's no easy way around it. You yeah. have to put in the work. It's like, so that's what I wanna, wanna just don't go looking for easy ways around things, just do it. One of my favorite sayings um, ever is, it's always been um, the elevator to success has broken down so you're gonna have to take the stairs one step at a time. Mm -hmm. I've I've always liked that saying. Like it's yeah. yeah, it's a humble reminder of of yeah. Some people can be lucky and blow up on Twitch, YouTube, whatever it is, but you still gotta put the time in. Don't hope yeah. for that elevator to actually start working now and then because by the time you've the elevator's come back on and you can go go take it, everyone's made their journey up the stairs anyway, so they're up there first and then. You know, it's pointless. <laughs> it's pointless. Yeah, yeah totally. And, and if you want to do something, you should just do it. Like, if you want to get on at the, at the top of the building, you know, to use your thing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. just, you know, take those stairs because, you know, you were going to do it anyway. Like, yeah, you want to go there anyway, so why not, you know? Totally understand, dude. Yeah, I, so, think, it's, uh, I think that's a good way to finish off the uh, podcast, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I went on Tumblr as well just to make sure there's any questions on there, but it's literally just people going, "Hell yeah, you're on here!" and "Oh, it's so good." And in my head, I'm like, "It's only me. It's only a little podcast." <laughs> it's it's really nice to see like how many of your fans you have, and it's it, you know it's super nice to see people get hyped for you and like celebrate what you're doing. It's, I, it's super I, nice. I'm really surprised that happened to be honest. Yeah. Because yeah, because I was like, oh. Um, I consider myself, you know, amongst people like uh, Space Jelly Beans, for mm -hmm. example. I consider myself to be relatively small. Yeah, okay. And like, so I was kind of worried that no one was going to ask questions. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm really surprised and really, you know, happily surprised about the turnout. I'm glad this happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, I, I, that's the thing, dude. Like, they love, obviously, your work, but they like you. And if any of your guys come over here, they're here for you. And that's that's what I want these podcasts to be about. I'm like the person who puts it together. I'm the person asking questions and talking, but I, I always want to make sure that these videos are about you, not necessarily me. Um, and you're doing a marvelous job. <laughs> Thank you. No, honestly, it's it's like I I you're really hospital, I think, and I you. felt you know really welcomed. I uh, I'm so glad. you're you're doing a good job, and you should definitely continue doing this because it's really fun. Yeah, there's no reason why I shouldn't keep doing it. I want to keep doing it. So 
yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. You never know what the future holds. And I've already got like loads of people asking to come on too, which is like super nice. And, yeah. <laughs> and obviously I keep it all secret for uh, the week before I actually start recording because I find that more fun. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to say to anyone? Um, any Anyone you want to give a shout out to? Is there any channels you want to check out or anything like that? Is there anyone you want to come on yourself? Or what What, what do you want to say to finish off, dude? The, um, I I think I'm going to give my brother a shout out. Oh. <laughs> he is... Um, his, his, uh, he... Uh, streams on Twitch regularly. His uh, Twitch name is The Chaos Maker. Hang on a second. How do you spell it? Uh, just The Chaos Maker uh, in one word, no space. Maybe I can find you a link. Yeah, find me the link. Twitch. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. The Chaos Maker. I, I can hear you typing furiously. <laughs> <laughs> there we go thank you oh the chaos maker i thought you said uh d as in the letter d oh no no, no. so and he does uh his twitch streams uh regular uh regularly a lot of sp containment breach uh multiplayer and what's the other game a borderlands 3 nice and i think tonight we're going to stream some minecraft so nice. there's that. That's cool. I will give him a follow, and everyone else in who are watching, who is watching this, give him a follow too. I've just followed on camera as well, so just to, <laughs> just to let you know. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely check him out. That's really good. Are you going to be on there too sometimes, or? I, I, I don't. I'm I'm kind of uh, scared of streaming myself. <laughs> oh bless you. You'd be great. I I I, I don't know. I, sometimes I stream like I I do the you know, the animation and I'll stream doing it. Yeah. But games eh. <laughs> totally cool. <laughs> totally understand. <laughs> nah, it's all good. All right, dude. Um that's it. So uh thanks for watching. Make sure everyone who's has watched uh, obviously leave a like and comment and subscribe if you want to. But the main thing is uh make sure you check Ultramarine's uh, links out. Uh, make sure you check out their um youtube channel their twitch their tum not twitch their twitter <laughs> twitch <laughs> uh twitter tumblr and instagram i think that's it isn't it All uh right. yeah that's about it cool and uh yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week i hope you enjoyed today and uh let everyone know about it because i i believe you you deserve hell of a lot of love from everyone who's watching so yeah all right um all we gotta do now is say bye i have an awkward ending where everyone just awkwardly says bye so <laughs> say <Okay>. bye <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye guys bye bye bye, -bye. bye. bye.